Hey, sorry about that, y'all. Had a uh, uh, internet uh, glitch or whatever. Call my cable provider. Sorry about that. I, if, if my voice sounds a little hoarse, gave him a good tongue lashing on Father's Day. <laughs> sorry about that, y'all. I'll give y'all guys a second to get back in here. Getting a little perturbed. A little perturbed, y'all. Sorry about that. I hate when that shit happens and um, you be in the middle of your uh, your thoughts. You know what I mean? So give me a second. Um, let you guys get back up in here. So again, we were talking about Phil Snow. You know what I mean? When Phil Snow was talking about um, about him being a coach in the NFL, not really having experience, but the fact that he said that he's willing, that he has hired. Excuse me, Matt Rule has hired a veteran. Uh, coach for each position that's called coaching man that's called using the old noggin as they used to say back in the day so i'm, I'm proud of that right there you know what i mean truth be told I know, I know a lot of people may not i don't know man maybe it's maybe maybe it's too maybe i'm laying it on too thick here y'all maybe i'm laying on too thick but honestly i believe that you know maybe phil snow could have been head coach yeah, and I'll tell you why here in just a minute. Again, sorry y'all had a uh, internet glitch. I don't know what's going on, man. Um, hopefully nobody ran into a pole and hurt themselves. And um, I did call my cable provider and gave them some business. I gave them a happy Father's Day in my dialect. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for rocking me. Y'all know it ain't nothing stopping. Ain't nothing stopping the movement, man, you know. So give you guys a second to get back up in here. Yeah, happy Father's Day. Shout out to Tommy Walker, Devil from my Bonobo, KJ the Long Way. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, sorry about that, y'all. Sorry about the, the whole glitch and stuff. That shit burns me up, man. That burns my gears when that happens. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Where are my notes at? Where are my notes at? All right, so yeah, when it came to Phil Snow and he was talking about um, expectations of the coaching staff, again, he said that he hasn't been in the league a long time. He said, um, I haven't coached against them, but if you look at our staff, our defensive staff, I love our defensive staff. We hired a veteran coach at each position, defensive line, uh, defensive line coach Mike Fares, um, coming over from the Colts, uh, defensive run game coordinator Al Holcomb as well. And also Jason Simmons as well on that defense. So, again, he has a plan for us. And, and I'm with it, man. I'm with it. I like the way he's thinking. The whole versatility thing. Um, if you watch part one of uh, this live feed right here, I just, I'm, I'm not with that. You know what I mean? I'd rather have specific players that can do specific things. And you coach and rotate guys in and out. He also did say he was going to have a very deep rotation as well you know what i mean but he said everybody on the field pretty much is going to be able to um do a little bit of this and do a little bit of that again that's not my cup of tea but i, I whatever floats your boat he also said to hear whitehead they brought him in he'll be middle linebacker but he also said guys like jeremy chan will be able to come in there play nickel also <laughs> playing mike linebacker in the nickel so shout out to him man for, for doing that now, he also mentioned about the boys up front. This is this is one of my favorite things he said. He said, boys used to tell me that big guys beat up on little guys. That's why there's a weight classification in boxing and wrestling, right? So obvious, we want to try to get people at a size, keep developing them, right? Brian Burns has some room to develop. You know Marquise Haynes, he's a little thicker. He's thicker than a snicker. He's going to probably be around 240. Um... And is is going to be playing that that way, but who knows what Brian Burns could be? Who knows what he could be? Right, rookie YGM. I don't know how big he's going to be. He's coming in at two seventy. I don't know how big he's going to be as well. But we'll try to keep them big, but not lose their mobility. Now that's big right there. That's very big. The fact that he said he won't big guys up front, but not being able to lose their mobility. All right, again, I've been saying this for years. A lot of people call me out and, you're a hater. <laughs> no, I'm not a hater, but I said Brian Burns had to get bigger. 
also, he also said in that same interview, let's pull it up real quick. I got it right here. He was talking about Brian Burns not leaving the field. He said that's the uh, versatility and the ability that you get out of Brian Burns, how special of a player he is, that they're not planning on letting that guy leave the field. He can cover the run. He can cover the pass. He can do it all. Again, I do want to see him slightly bigger, and it seems like they want to see him bigger as well. Um, and again, he also emphasis he put emphasis on rotating guys in. It's gonna, it's gonna be a it's more than just a one one man show. It's not gonna be just the first teamer, not the second teamer. It's, it's gonna be some depth there. That's how you that's how you chip away at good teams. You know what I mean? Imagine being able to put guys in like KK and and have them semi fresh going into the fourth quarter against a Drew Brees or against a Tom Brady. Because you you know obviously he's older he's coming in off an of injury. Think about being able to rotate this guy in. You know what I mean with Brave Young Roy. Uh, you got my man Kerr. You got Keith Keith Kerr from uh, Arizona coming in. You got uh he, and listen I'm telling you guys <laughs> a lot of you guys better watch your knife on some of these players because uh, Phil Snow said that um uh, Stephen Weatherly has elite potential. Yeah, that went over your head, didn't it? He said Stephen Weatherly has elite potential. So. It looks like he has a plan. I'm with it again. The versatility thing. I'm I'm not really high on our. I just think you're putting too much on our secondary. You know what I mean? Now it, it, let these guys. Oh, one well, one more thing I want to say. One more thing I want to say. Let these guys learn at their pace. The, it's not fair to, for you to come in and say everybody on our team better be versatile. That's that's not fair. That's not fair. I mean, won't, won't you come in and see who can handle that? I mean, won't you come in and see? You know what? All right, I want everybody on our team to be versatile, but I also am okay if you can do something really good. There's nothing wrong with you doing one thing really good, and somebody else does a little bit of something, a, a little bit of both things okay, and then you got somebody else that does another thing really good. That's your job to coach them into position. It's your, it's like game of chess. You know what I mean? When you're playing chess, it, 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 it's nobody's job but for you to put those guys in the right position. All right. He also made a statement that really caught my eye, and, and and it really speaks volume about this year and what to expect this year out of this secondary. If I can fucking find my notes, excuse me for my language there. Let me pull it up, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Um, this this so uh when the internet cut out on me, threw everything off. Uh, let me see, can I find my notes? All right. So this is what Phil Snow said about our young secondary. There's no substitute for experience. The way we learn is getting our butts kicked, right? In your business, in our business, that's how you learn. So there's going to be some growing pains. But I think we hired the best guy to coach them in a defensive passing game, Jason Simmons. So what does that say to you guys? The defensive coordinator that comes out that's coaching the team and says that, (laughs) <laughs> there's going to be some growing pains this year. And not only did he say there's going to be some growing pains, he specifically called out the secondary. Not only did he specifically call out the secondary, he used the term getting our butts kicked. Mm. <clears throat> to me, and this is my interpretation, doesn't mean that I'm right, doesn't mean that I'm wrong. It looks like this year is going to be a lot of trial and error experimental shit. It does. It, it honestly does, man. Um, but I think we're going to be better for it. And this is the reason why when guys come out and say we're going to be 11 and 5, 10 and 6, I mean, it's cute. I mean, but when you got your damn defensive coordinator coming out, telling you your secondary is going to get their butt kicked through the growing pains, doing growing pains, and they're going to be better for it, uh, some of you guys better taper down that expectation. I love what he's doing, man. I love the game plan that he has, but it's a game plan for the future. This is not an immediate game plan right here. The whole versatility thing, sketchy, y'all. That's sketchy to me that you come out and you say you want uh, 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 versatility across the board, and then you, you you brag on Justin Burris, you brag on Trey Boston, you brag on Jeremy Chen, ability to play in the box. Again, y'all, Matt Ryan, 113 attempts. Uh, this is play action, by the way. When it comes to our our, our quarterbacks in our division, Matt Ryan, 113 attempts uh, uh, in play action, 
827 yards. Tom Brady, 126 attempts in play action. Almost 1,000 yards, 980. When it comes to Drew Brees last year, of course, he was hurt. I had 54 attempts play action, 492 yards. When it comes to their offense, Atlanta runs the ball 33.9% of the time. Tampa, 37.7%. Uh, New Orleans was 40%. Um, when it comes to passing the ball, 67, 62, 57. So almost 60% of the time they're throwing the ball. And you're harping on bringing guys in the box against offenses that throw 60% of the time. You're harping on bringing guys in the box when you're going up against a division where offenses are thrown almost 60% of the time. Now, the only thing I, only thing I got to say about that is you better get your ass up there. You better, If you're going to bring them in the box, <laughs> if you're going to bring them in the box, you better be doing a hell of a lot of business and you better get there. Because 980 yards, 827 yards, 492 yards, almost a thousand yards per quarterback, except Drew Brees before he was hurt. That's kind of scary to, to know that your offense is predicated on stacking people in the box. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, Phil Snow said growing pain, so I think you guys need to pipe it down with expectations. Dante Jackson is my comeback player of the year. He spoke on him being athletic, being able to back up the ball, being able to be physical. He said uh, teams nowadays are, are, are daring cornerbacks to come up and make tackles in the run game and he, he said Dante Jackson is very good at coming up making tackle, tackles in the run game I'm fine at that you know what I mean again the whole versatility thing I think it works up front Brian Burns he's my MVP for the team this year all right I think that versatility works up front but again that this you just gotta be tell me when, when I hear hybrid shit when I hear hybrid shit I hear lazy and I don't mean that out of disrespect, but it, it's like kind of like, again, like having guys on the field that can do it, do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. But if they catch your ass, if these defenses, like, like he just said, what did he just say in his, uh, his comments? He said, I haven't coached in the NFL, but I have veterans to help me out. If, if, if they catch you in the right package and you got a hybrid player out there that can do a little bit of both, uh, 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 pretty good or decent, and they exploit that shit, shit. You know what I mean? I don't care if we got to rotate. Listen, I don't care if we have to rotate pass rushing, deep, pass rushing linemen in every other play. I want to pass rush on this line. I want to pass. I got. I want to run stuff in the line. I want to pass rush alignment. I run stuff. I want to run stuff in corner. I want to pass stop in corner. Run. I don't give a fuck. We have to do that every play unless they go no huddle. Then you have to have some hybrids in there. But coach, man, don't don't take the lazy way out and say, put a bunch of hybrids on the field. They can do a little bit of both. Everything good. It's just gonna be crazy, man. <laughs> I, I see where he's going with it, so, so I can't knock him. But uh, again, he said growing pain. Phone lines up. I don't hear from you guys. Seven seven zero six eight nine six eight one six. Let's talk about it. How do you feel about Phil Snow press conference from him saying growing pains? Brian Byrne, and how ecstatic he is. He's saying he won't leave the damn field in twenty twenty. Um, he also talked about having Justin Burris, Jeremy Chin up in the box, having those guys, Chin, be able to play middle linebacker in the nickel. Um, I mean, it's beautiful, man. Let's talk about it. Yo, who we talking with? Let's pop brothers. Man. Hey, Pop, man. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you, brother. Much love, much love, man. Let's get into it. So, so let's, let's start. We talking about Phil Snow, man. Yes, sir. Come on, man. You know this man ain't going to tell you secrets. <laughs> Come he on. can't get bent out of shape. He just threw something out there for the people, to, you know what I'm saying, that's trying to scheme on us and everything, man. Yeah. Come on, man. He said something real basic. Uh-huh. The man is the man is, has a mastermind for defense. Yeah. And he run and we – look, come on. We 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 see his exotic plays, like the things he do. I mean, yes, he does want athletic players to to be able to do multiple things. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. he ain't stacking the box. He didn't even do that. <laughs> they ran a three man front most of the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So come on, he's not gonna bring that here to Charlotte, man. I mean, my bad, Carolina Panthers. Right, right. He's not gonna do. He's not gonna do that. So I don't. There ain't no need for anybody to be worried. We're gonna be all right. I I I really enjoyed the interview, man, because he he actually um uh, was was uh saying a lot of smart things, you know. What I'm saying not only keeping us undercover 
also saying how he rotates players. That means that people gonna come in, they are gonna get some playing time. Now I ain't saying they get a whole lot of playing time, but I hope that that rubs off to where the offense is also looking at it like the same way too. So that we we all we see is ninety nine percent of Christian McCaffrey on the field. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying so if you have people that's that's also playing in your scheme and know the scheme, and somebody does get hurt, well then you have no problem putting somebody in there. You know what I'm saying? No doubt, maybe. That's see things like that made sense to me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I wasn't really big on Eli Apple because Eli Apple had a plenty of of starting time, and he still can't get it. No doubt, no doubt. So I well, mean, he is young, but well, I gotta I gotta stop you right there with the bluff. I don't I don't think he's bluffing. Shout out to Brandon Peters. He said, "Hope one day you get an XM Game Day podcast." Me too, brother. Much love. Thank you for that. Um, let me tell you this: the reason why I don't think he's bluffing is. The Carolina Panthers have been last in run-stopping defense for the last two years. So, they feel like they must get this right this year. There ain't no maybe. Ain't no. I think they're putting their eggs in all in one basket. Now, does that mean this is going to be their only way of doing it? No, I, 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 I agree with you there. They're not going to give the full secret. But he might have tipped his hand a little bit. Maybe, but but think about it like this. What what all can he give you right now when he hasn't even seen what his players can do at, actually athletically? Good point. Because he, they haven't been on the field. Good point. Good point. You know what I mean? I mean, we already have run stoppers right now as far as what they drafted. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or what they've accumulated. We have people that, that he could throw in there and get to do uh, from Oakland that he got, the linebacker. To here? Who, 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 cannot, who cannot cover. Mm. But he can he can he can stop the run. Okay. You have Bravion who 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 demands a a a uh, a double team at times. If, if you know if he figure out his hand motion and figure out how to you know be more than a bull rush. There, I mean, there's there's schematic things that they can do. Okay. To you know what I'm saying to to uh, stop the run. I mean, um, I mean, because blitzing and sacking the quarterback, I think we already got that nailed on the back. I don't I don't think we have a problem there. Uh, I'm a little worried about Shaq um, because he he's he's taking on a hell of a role. Uh, but like I said, I mean, and I think I think it, it, this might sound crazy, but I think that's why he wants athletic players and people who can do multiple things in case we have a problem with stopping around. We have people who can do something mm-hmm. instead of somebody who just I know you I know how you think you like. I just want somebody who's good at what they're doing and stick to it. No doubt, no doubt. Now, let me ask you this right here. Uh, yeah, Tommy, go ahead and call him. He does have phone line privileges. We're going to add him on here as well. Now, what you were saying um, about uh, – uh, um, oh, well, let me slow down. What do you think about him coming out saying there's going to be some growing pains this year? And he said we're going to get our butt whipped. And he spoke about the secondary getting their asses whipped clean. But he said we're going to be better for it, and we got the guys that's going to coach him up right. But he admitted says it's going to be a learning curve and it's going to be some butt kicking. How does that make you feel? And does that tell you that this year is going to be a learning season, not necessarily a growing season? Well, the key words of anybody uh, have been listening to any of the coaches is that, which I've never heard any of the previous coaches say, that we're going to groom these guys into being professionals and and and, and actually uh, uh, give them time. There you, you know go. There you go. Give them play time. I ain't, that's what I that's what I liked about uh, rule anyway, and it seemed like everybody else on. Yo, who's this? Who's this? This this is Tommy. What's going on, Big Kate? What's up? Let me pat you through. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I like. Yeah, who? If anybody's anybody who's a Carolina Panther fan, I think that we gonna go in here and just all blend together and just be hella good on defense. Mm-hmm. No. That's not how it happens. It ne- it's never happened that way. I ain't never seen this many young players come together and just be a top ten defense. It ain't gonna happen. Now I think our offense will be explosive, but defense this this year actually our offense is gonna have the carriers, which we've never seen that before. Yeah, like that except for 2015 when we went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know we what? Had a good, we had a good defense too. And you you made a great point, man, and and thank you for that, man. You said that you never heard a coach in the Carolina Panthers organization, not Ron Revere, not John Fox, come out and say that we're focusing on developing players. Look. Nice. Nope. Because Ron Rivera didn't develop players. He had players that he knew that, that um, played a key position. 
and that was gonna save his job. Yep. Yep. Probably the reason why we don't have Cam. But at the same time, hey, we have a whole different regime regime, a whole different mindset. They want they wanna have young players who they can motivate who who, who doesn't have that top dollar yet. Where you can't tell them nothing, you know, you know, no Antonio Browns. So I can't tell you nothing in the, in the, in the locker room. You, 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 you just know it all. Yep. No, he don't want that. He wants some. He wants people motivated. You know what I'm saying? That that that, that wants to look good in the limelight and and, and, and willing willing to grow. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and again, man, and I gotta definitely respect. I, listen, maybe maybe I'm tripping here, and maybe I'm 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 in. Love with his words, but I I, I think Phil it's Snow. It's too, man. It's most screen too, man. He ain't tell me. He ain't tell me. He ain't tell me. Oh, bro. I, I like this guy. A, we're going to have a rough year, man, this first year. Come on. We got Tommy Walker on the line. Tommy Walker. How you doing, my brother? Happy Father's Day. Hey, happy Father's Day to all of you. What's up, Tommy? Hey, what's up, man? Um, yeah, we're going to have a rough year, man, this first year, just like at Temple and Baylor, you know. Uh, players are going to have to get used to a scheme whatnot. But uh, our roster is going to change game to game. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be scheme specific, you know. Um, so you might not see a, the same lineup every game to game. You know, it's going to be um, interchangeable on how he wants to run it versus uh, another team, what they're trying to run, you know. Now, now, Tommy, let me ask you this right here. Yes, sir. Who, who, who said that there's going to be a, a situation where we're going to be playing by committee in the secondary? Yeah, it's definitely gonna be that big cat. Uh, so, so I, I called it. I said it's gonna be a committee, yeah. it's kind yeah, of game by did. game situation, right? Yeah, man. Okay. Um, like it, he's right on the fact that uh, Chin he might play some linebacker some game, uh, or during the game, like he might be a safety. Uh, he might line up at corner. He's he a might line. Yeah, he's gonna be lining up everywhere um, on what they want to do versus that play. So you might have Justin Burris playing cornerback some plays. You might have. Uh, you know, Troy Pride, he's he's not going to – they're going to let him learn a little bit. They're going to put him in every once in a while, but he's not going to be playing like a starter. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why they brought Eli Apple in because he, they're looking for somebody on the outside that can do what they want uh, for them to do. But that's why we have so many safeties because they can play corner, a little bit of nickel. Some can play linebacker. It, it's He wants people that's just going to be able to line up and – um kind of just roll with the punches when it comes to the other team's scheme against us. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Well, let me ask you, let me ask you about this, man. I, I kind of feel like he's going to overwhelm some shit. Again, if, yeah. if you have not heard what I said about Bernabe and Wickery, they put his ass in there, and, and, and you know, now he's um he's working at the taco right. stand in the East Los uh, Santos. But uh, <laughs> here's my thing. Right. It's a different regime, though. Right, 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 right. Ben Wicker was actually a good player. I seen him make some major yeah. plays, and I didn't understand why he was gone. Yeah, they put I, him in a bad position. You yeah, know? I think I think he got in a spat with one of the coaches. Like, Girl, we don't really owe you any money, so we get rid of you. Yeah, you know I mean? right. Well, here's my thing, man. I, it's not fair. I mean, think about this. You're just gonna. Now listen, I listen. I'm no no disrespect to Jeremy Chen. This is my guy. I think he's the future Mike Minner. But right. I'll tell you this right here. He's coming from Salukis, Southern Illinois, the University of Southern the Salukis. So, who has the Salukis played that gives you a supreme confidence that he can be a hybrid against NFL quality competition? Let's go there today. Let's go there today. What have you seen that makes you 100% sure, not 99, not 97, not 98, but 100% sure that you can bring this guy in who's supremely talented? This is the NFL now. There's a lot of talented people in the NFL. But what brings you in and makes you 100% sure you can bring this guy in, load him up and with a, a hundred a different positions and say he's going to be fine? Or yeah. or you could take one position, make him uh, groom him at that and work him into other shit. I don't like this whole everybody on my team is going to be hybrid shit. I don't like that. I don't like it. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. I think the end game is to say, "Hey, we we have we have um we have Catered to what what he can be, they're not talking about what he can do right now. They're talking about in the end game what what they would like him to be, yeah. So that he that he can be so dangerous that he can play everywhere. I think that's the end game. They're not talking about oh, because he's not gonna play everywhere right now. Right, right now he's gonna play safety. 
But then as he gets gets a little more experience, and, and right now I think it's the best why why we have to take advantage of what's going on in the world is that they are studying tape. They might give him one or two other safeties that are doing doing what they want him to do in the future to study. Hey, watch this right here. I want you to I want you to see how you're doing. Look at this technique. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Put in, put in a mental because sometimes you have to mentally see it before you can actually go out and do it. You know what I'm saying? I've never been able to dunk, but you know what? I mentally thought I could. A couple times I got close. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, I too. I don't have the height. You know what I mean? But when you got all the physical you know, so attributes to actually do it, you actually know, hey, man, he's six four, two 225 pounds off pure muscle. He runs a 4'4 four, four flat. Yeah, I think he can dunk. Let, let's just train him up a little bit. Let's let's see what. So the end game is where they're talking about. Yeah. yeah. And here's another thing too. Um, they, he's going to know everybody's strength and weaknesses. Um, he knows everybody's raw. Mostly the players that you look at that we drafted are raw. You even look at Derrick Brown. Uh, he needs to work on his pass rush. He knows everybody's weaknesses and strengths. He, so he's going to tailor to that every game. So if you have um, a wide receiver or such that you want to put Chin on because you know the strengths that could take care of that, he's going to put him in on that certain situation. If he thinks his weakness is overriding uh, that wide receiver or running back scheme, then um, he's going to um, change it accordingly. You, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think – I think he's using uh, what people do best and what, what their weaknesses are and – kind of go with that like that's how he's going to do a scheme it's not going to be like oh okay this player's stuck here uh we're just going to put him here just for the hell of it i don't yeah. think it's uh, you know what i'm saying i think it's they're playing bait. checkers man i mean they're right playing right they're playing checkers they're right they are, they're the right scheme we have scheme and coaches right right mm-hmm. right right mm-hmm. this is uh this is big man i mean like that's we're going to uh really struggle this first year i mean people have to realize that do not get high hopes on these players have to learn this scheme. They have to learn the players um, on how they want to do things. But yeah, you're gonna see a different lineup, man. Yeah. Like it week to week. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be different, man. Well, let's talk about um this defensive line here now. I mean, again, do you think it's all bluff? Because I know my man um, Popping Bullet said a lot of stuff he was saying is probably bluff, but I don't think it's bluff, my G. And um. Again, we, we struggle with stopping the run. We've been in the like with the bottom twenty for the last two years. So but here's my yeah. thing. You brought in Brave Young Roy, you brought in Curry from um Keith Kerr from Arizona, yeah. you brought in Stefan Weatherly. We'll talk about him in a minute here about how he said he expected him to be elite. A lot right. of y'all are talking we're gonna talk about him in a minute. You brought in YGM and you brought in Dag Brown, but right. you're harping on bringing guys down in the front. No, 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 no. I want to see them guys win up front against the run. I don't want to. Right. I, I just listen, bro. Sixty-seven percent passing or sixty-seven percent passing off is Atlanta. Sixty-two percent passing off is Tampa. Fifty. I think you're gonna buy in to stop something that's not even being ran a lot. I mean, listen, they're they're running their ball thirty-three percent of the time, thirty-seven percent, forty percent of the time. It's not about. How many times you run the ball is about being effective. And because teams have been able to be effective against us, it may seem like they're running the ball on us a lot, but they're really not. So what's going to happen is they're going to take advantage of your aggressiveness. Okay, now that you now that we're able to get 10, 15 yards off of you, we may run the ball 20 times a game or whatever, but because we're running it so effectively, what are you going to do? You're going to bring guys up in the box and ready to stop it, and then 67% pass, 62% pass, and you're going to be experiencing that pain all night. Hey, well, what does uh, the quarterback hate the most? What does the quarterback pressure, hate the most? Pressure. What? Right from where, though? From where? Though? Up front, in the pocket. In the middle, right? That's right. Yeah. So, if he's if they're picking players to not only stop the run on the on the line, but to also push the pocket up the middle, mm-hmm. you, that's going to make a um, a quarterback uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's not just about stopping the run. I believe it's. I think it's pushing that pocket up front and forcing them to either roll out, which Brian Burns and YGM, all of them are going to eat, man. Yeah, yeah. But it's not just about stopping the run. It's it's actually pushing, make sure that pocket is pushed up, up the middle. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because that's going to make a – I'm sorry, go ahead. No, 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 my, my fault. I didn't catch up. No, you're good, man. He also said, though, in, in there, he said, um, 
that we don't mind if a person catches the ball or whatnot. Just don't get beat. Right, right, right. right. He's applying that pressure. And, and you saying sixty seven percent, you know, sitting there throwing the ball and forty and forty three percent they're running it. Well, that that's fine as long as they're not getting a whole bunch of positive yards on right. them runs. And we're not getting and our and our back end is not getting beat twenty yards like I've seen Julio Jones get damn near three hundred yards and a half. I mean, we, you just can't have that. To, we can't have that to happen. Yeah. So I mean, uh, that's also just. Uh, Give, he's also get gassing the guys that we have uh, drafted to say, hey, you know, I want you to be in there and be destructive yeah. and, and, and push that pocket. Now, I hey, don't think Brady on Roy is a starter. Nah, he's a uh, he's rotation. Yeah, he's rotation. Yeah. Yeah. One thing he did say that I like was that he said there's going to be a lot of rotation. So if we ever get hurt, yeah. I right. love that. Right. I love that. I love that. Incorporate the these building. guys. Yeah. The, can, right. Imagine taking a healthy, or, or excuse me, a. a Semi tired KK into the fourth quarter. He's not fully tired into the fourth quarter against yeah. a Tom Brady, a Matt Ryan. That's going to be trouble right here. Right, right. Yeah. Hey, how can, how can you Mickey. have a strong defensive line that never comes off the field? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, over and over. They're going to rotate, man. They're going to rotate. That's, that's why we lasted. That's why we got better in the season because we had fresh players. I love Phil Slow, man. I, I do too, man. I, do I too. just think he, he has the right mindset of longevity of your players. And people who can impact, and during that time, you still got people who can learn from. And we still got some OGs there. We still got Peppers up, upstairs. Mm-hmm. No right. Can sit here and teach you some things. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I mean, I like I said, we, we we all agree here that you know we're gonna we're gonna take some some beatings on, on defense, but yeah. eventually we're gonna we're gonna melt and, and, yeah. and be be destructive. Bro. Well, and this first year is gonna be rough, man. This year, this first year is gonna be rough. They gotta figure out a lot, man. They got a lot to figure out. No doubt. Well, let me ask you this right here, man. He he also talked about having some fatty daddies up front. You know what fatty daddies are, right? <laughs> That's right, man. That's right. Yeah. That's thick. thick. Yeah. He said Marquis Hayne, two forty, thickening it up. I like my yeah. suit. I like my grit thick. I don't want no soupy grit. And yeah. um, he also said that uh, YGM at two seventy, but he may be going up. I think two seventy five. Uh, wow. I think two seventy five. I think look, you know, you know that's pure muscle too. Bro. Yeah, right. yeah. This ain't no yeah. fat now. This ain't no goddamn cookout tray. This is some right. goddamn muscle, bro. He talking about making yeah. the YGM beef up. And he also said about Brian Burns beefing yeah. him in the fuck yeah. up and never letting him off the field. How do you feel about that? He need a, he need a couple of boxes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some, really. some Peter Bird and Jelly, man. He's some Peter Bird and Jelly, too. Yeah, man. that'll sweat your ass up real good. <laughs> some milk. Mm-hmm. He needs some milk. Hey, what? I tell you what, YGM, man, he's real technical. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's got the technical side down pat, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just um, get in the edge, getting around, doing certain things. But he, he's raw, man. Yeah. That's why he lasts the second round. But he's technical. If you look at his hands, man, he does a great job of I'm getting people off of him so he can do what he needs to do. And he sets a good edge. So with a little extra weight on, man, the sky's the limit, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And his his back his backstory is, is, is oh, so crazy. He's man. He's he's got he's gonna be great, bro. Yeah, he's gonna stop him from yeah, well, he's hungry, man. Through. He's like he's like a phoenix, man. He not, he he already been right. went through the ashes and reborn to come back again. He, he he's right. gonna be great. It can't nothing yeah. stop him. He's went yeah. through hell, man. His, mm-hmm. If you look at his life story, he's went through hell. So you already know he's gonna be a dog just on yeah. that alone. You ain't right. got to fear him. Like I feel like he's gonna put right. fear in another man. Whoever's uh, opposite him, he's gonna put fear in their heart, bro. You he, damn straight. He ain't gonna be able to stop him, man. Yeah, that's my yeah. defensive rookie of the year, man. I think they're gonna beat him the hell up. Him. He's got so much potential, dude. This ain't funny. Well, what do y'all think about Brian Burns? He said he is not coming off the field at all. <laughs> He said he could do so many things. He said he's, he's athletic. He's lengthy. What do y'all feel about that? Well, there's no, there's really nobody who can stop Ryan Burns. If he's been the yeah. right position, man, yeah, yeah. yeah. If they scheme, if they scheme, I right. listen to Pat. Uh, what's his name? The the kicker for the he used to be the kicker for the coach. Pat McAfee. Pat, Pat McAfee. McAfee. Yeah. And they had um, what's his name? The, uh, <laughs> Bro. I didn't know that, that the coaches actually had like a number one rusher. Like, okay, you're gonna be the sound blitz, and you're gonna be my main rusher right here. There, that that is that is Burns right there. There yeah. is nothing nobody can do 
that can stop that man if you scheme for him to get 15 sacks a game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you scheme for him to get 15 sacks, so, so everybody else is diverted, <laughs> and we got money on the line, okay, you got 1.5 million on this game right here. I need you to get three sacks. It ain't nothing going to stop that, man. <laughs> That's right. Because you know what? That's encouraging your other players. Hold on, brother. I want you to get your, your two sacks, but I want some money too. That's right. Yeah. Somebody yeah. going somebody to gonna, uh, uh, turn up. And you know what else is nasty, man? I know y'all have seen the, the highlight. I like watching just – Fan, but of course you've seen the highlights too. But you look at Chin, man. I know y'all have seen the highlight where he's he's blitzing twenty yards out and sacks the quarterback, man, for twenty yards out, like no. in a blink of an eye, dude. Can you imagine? I mean, just oh man, they, they're gonna be coming from everywhere. Yeah, that's all so like hero shit, man. So right. Burn, I can see them moving Burns around, man. You know, playing a little bit of linebacker, of course, but they they, they just, I mean, they just won't they won't this man to do what he does best and that is rush Spencer, man he he can he's athletic enough to cover you know uh certain players too but his job is to get that quarterback uneasy man and there's ways to do it man. That. yes sir they 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 wanted to save brian Byrne when robert river was in there right they were taking him off the like, oh, i'm good to go coach i'm good to go coach but they never thought about that with chris mcgaffrey mm, hold on one second let me let on in yo Yes, sir. Happy Father's Day. Hey, Dick. happy Father's Day, partner. Let me part you through. You know it. Yo, we got Unc on the line. Unc, uh, talk your shit. Yes, sir. <laughs> good, good morning, fellas. How y'all good doing? Boy. Happy Father's Day, my brother. Yes, sir. To everybody, man. Happy Father's Day to happy y'all, Father's fellas, day. man. Yes, sir. Talk your shit. Yes, sir. Hey, so 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 y'all seen that field snow shit, huh? Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. Hey, big cat. Yes, sir. I told you that. I told you that on the night, man. I like that nigga, man. I like. Yeah. I like his assertiveness. You know, I like the way he he don't sugarcoat shit. I told you. Right. Listen, I told I told big cat I said this shit the other night. The nigga Twan tried to jump on me. I said, yeah. uh, <laughs> I said, look, I feel like Phil Snow would be a better candidate. Head coach, Agreed. man. I Agreed. swear Agreed. I do. Agree. I, I see it. I it see it. Possible. He, he, I he, see it. I'm with you. Up. It's possible, bro. Man, for real. Yeah, see, see, we look at we look at that Joe Brady as being, you know, Matt Rule's successor, but goddamn it, it might be Phil Snow. Yeah. For real, man. I think Brady's gonna. I think Brady's gonna take his time, man. I think yeah. he, he wants to be where he wants to be. Even when if you listen to his his um his interview, he said, "I like being in the box." That is, that is a coordinator's dream, basically. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. He said, now, I don't mind being on the field, but when you really looked at him, looked in his eyes, watched him talking, his gestures, he wants to be at the box. You can get just as paid as, as anybody else that's standing out there on that on that, on that that um, sideline up in that box. Mm. And plus, um, you look yeah, at, like, sure. leadership-wise, uh, you know, a coach needs to be a leader of men. You know what I'm saying? I, and with Brady, he might be a good coach one day. But I don't know if he's ready to be a leader of men. You know what I'm saying? When I play football, man, you know, you look. I look at my coach. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, that that really. Uh, Ooh, hey, you hear that? You hear that, big cat? You hear what he just said? No, what he said? Leader of men. He said. He said he don't believe that uh, Brady's a leader of men. He right. said when he played football, he looked to his coach. You right. see what I'm saying? I bought that pen up a while ago, dude. I said. Well, we we was talking about with it not being leaders on the team, nobody's right. leaders on the team, and I said that goddamn Matt Rule yep. wants to be the head leader, right? And and I got a lot of blowback. You know, they motherfuckers telling me, "Oh no, fuck that head coach can't be a leader of the team." Shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, what? Well, right. Successful? Who they gonna who they gonna congratulate first? Well, Matt, right. Matt right. Rule wanted yeah. to like that. That that's the reason he got rid of all the veterans because he wants he right. wants you to look to him. He wants the voice in the room, man. He wants to be the voice in the room. Because I promise hey, you, so Cam- what, what's wrong with that, dog? You know what I mean? What's what's wrong with a coach no. wanting to come in and establish his own culture no, from the fucking locker room to the concession stand? Yeah, right, right. There's nothing but wrong with. I just with feel it. like I just feel like Phil commands a room. You know what I'm saying? Phil I like commands a room. Yeah. And hey, who is this, Tommy? That's Tommy Boy. Yes, sir. What yes, sir. Bob Bad. Bob Bad. Talking shit. Well, well, let me ask hey, you know what time it is, Tommy. Yes, sir. Well, hold on. Let me, let me ask you a question, Unc. There's an elephant in the room besides myself. 
uh, we need to ask. <laughs> we need to. We need to ask. Uh, we need to ask this right here. Is there something wrong with Shaq, and why is Phil Snow putting to hear Whitehead at Mike? Ooh, yeah. Hey, okay, yeah, you heard that, right? We learned. You heard what he said okay, about, about the boy to live right, uh, Whitehead. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I don't, I don't know, big cat. Listen, man, I I really can't five point this shit until I see what kind of scheme that they're gonna put forth on defense. Right. So you know, you never know. Fuck, man, I don't know, big cat. I I don't know, man. I, I got the answer right now. Yeah, you ain't got. To, I know what he's doing. As far as from what I've seen, I've seen Luke Kuechly and Thomas Davis mm-hmm. make yep. big game changer plays. Shaq's. It's reading plays, man. It might be reading plays. Make, make game yeah. changer plays. Come on, Pop. What are you trying to say, Pop? What are you trying to say, Pop? He he he's not the protege of anybody yet. Oh man. He might be, man. He's not, like, he's, he's not the future. Now we yeah. might have huh? the future. Hold on, hold on. We just signed this guy to uh, a new deal. He's not the future. I mean, he yeah, he's got to have his role, man. Regime. We didn't sign him. I mean. You know, it's about reading plays. You know, you got to be able to, to watch something and see it and communicate to other players, you know. And Shaq might not be ready for that, you know. Shaq, Shaq has not shown me anything. Where He's he, got athleticism. Where he can be the leader of defense. When you get a, a, a safety back here talking about Trey Boss, somebody, he's the leader of the defense, that's a problem. Right. Oh. Yeah, it is. You're right. You're right. So that's just that's just ain't nobody ain't nobody saying here um, combat that man. Somebody he ain't the leader of the, of the defense. He's, He's a good weak side. You know what I'm saying? That's no way in hell. Like yo, no, I'm the leader. Nope. That's no way in hell. You can sit behind Luke Kuechly and Thomas <laughs> Davis and not know shit or know how to do anything. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying he not he don't know anything. Yeah, I, I can't say that. That big cat, He's not that man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't sitting at the, the front of the table. He, you know, he, he's at the table. Okay, well, well, yeah. well, well, out of respect for that, I don't want to be a hypocrite because I'm the guy in the video earlier. I said, uh, Shaq, just do your own thing. And maybe he's not ready like you guys are saying. He's not ready to fill in the shoes of a Luke Kuechly. But, I mean, I just don't get it. Like, wh- why not embrace that role? You read the letter to hear Whitehead. I no disrespect to him, who I, I don't know much about. But I know much about Shaq, and I've seen this guy play the run. He played the run exceptionally well. Right, I, I watch right. him knock some running backs, slap the fuck out. So, I mean, he can be taught how to cover better, man. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. Sure. Maybe he's, um, you know, his, his weakness might be communicating. Now, he might, as far as diagnosing, um, he's like, you know, read and react kind of just, you know. But as far as like what Keekly did, he had to read, react, and communicate, and all that. You know, maybe she all that shit. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Maybe he's not ready for all that. You know. So what you're saying is he's a Trojan man more so than a magnet. <laughs> well, let me ask you this, dear Big Cat. <laughs> did, did they ever, in in his whole entire spit, put Thomas Davis at middle linebacker? No. Right. No. You see what I'm saying? So, we could, you know, let me ask you this. Could Thomas Davis play that position? Probably could, that's yeah. Good question. Probably could. He probably could. Question. See, that's all I'm saying. Is, I think Thomas Davis had the size, too, to be a, a hell of a middle linebacker. But maybe what was his weakness, Big Cat? Why the fuck they ain't bump him in the middle linebacker? You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, well, Thomas Davis, know, man. Thomas Davis wasn't the best coverage linebacker either. He struggled last year in San Diego. I know he's a little older, right. but... He's right. never he's never been the best cover linebacker too, so maybe that's the reason too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. So so basically, what we need to <laughs> what we need to see is who's our best fucking coverage linebacker. Thank pretty you. Much. See, uh, to hear Whitehead, he's not he's not that great in coverage either. You know. Oh my god. But but you know he's he's had a lot of experience as a middle linebacker, so that okay. might be him being able to put people in place, put them read a play. Uh, communicate the whole nine yards. He's a damn good run stuffer, though. Mm-hmm. But maybe that gives uh, Shaq more time to read and react. You know what I'm saying? I think maybe that might be what the deal he, is. You might be our fastest backer, uh, right. Shaq sideline to sideline. So, right. I don't know, man. I, I'm just it's, I'm just real intrigued by by the shit feels yeah. so said. 
I'm real intrigued on what they go what they go put on that field, Big Cat. Listen, yeah, me too, man. He shoots from the hip, man. I, I like Phil Snow. Now I got I gotta get on you, Aunt. I gotta get on you, bro. What's up? All right, you ready for it? You already know. Now, 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 what's that record prediction you gave me earlier? <laughs> you uh, oh, you talking about my record? Yeah, you gave me a record prediction. I just, I just, I'm just asking for a friend. Hey, hey, eleven and five. Okay. <laughs> now, let me and six at work. Okay, now let me, let me read you something from you. You say you love Phil Snow, right? Oh, I love. Him. I love him too, man. All right, let, let, let's, too. Let, let's read. Let's read about him. And I quote. <laughs> Hey, I already know where you're going with this shit. <laughs> I love you, man, but I'm fucking with you today, bro. <laughs> there are no, and I quote, there are no substitute for experience. The way we all learn is getting our butt kicked, right? Yeah. In yeah your, I remember you saying that shit. In your business, in our business, that's how you learn. So they're going to go through some growing pains. But I think we hired the best guy to coach them in defensive coordinator, passing game coordinator, Jason Simmons, quote, quote. Now, Unc. <laughs> now, now, what part of 11 to 5 does butt kicking uh, 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 surround itself in? Hey, see, I heard him say that same shit, Big Kid. <laughs> but, hey, look, the fact is, that when when he said that he ain't sugarcoated, you know what I mean. That's he what I love though. Come out right. and say, he come out and say we gonna hit the ground running, but what he did say, Big Cat, is he don't believe that now NFL organization has outworked them yep. this off season. He said that shit. He said he said I feel like no NFL organization has outworked us this off season. I they think we put it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and he was like, uh, um, he kept he kept hopping on the fact that he hadn't seen these players in person move yet. So I don't know. He kept saying, I don't know exactly what they can and can't do because I haven't seen them move yet. See, I don't know, big cat. I still, I still, I'm not coming off that eleven and five, ten and six. Even even <laughs> even, even when the man tell you uh, we're gonna get our butt kicked. Hey, well, see, that's that's what every new head coach supposed to say. But you know, he he combated that though. He he combated that statement with a lot of statements he made before and after. You know what I mean? So, yeah. oh no, big cat. Of course, man. I, I mean, I I didn't feel slow was gonna get his his shine as far as interviews. But when they gonna interview the offensive line coach? Oh, hey, oh, hey, you hear what Phil Snow said about him, big cat? No, what happened? About the offensive line coach. Tell me about it. Yeah, because he was he was he uh yeah I watched the whole interview. He Iron said something. Iron. Yeah, he said he said he said it was two positions in the NFL that changes from from level to level, and and the two positions that changes the most when it comes to the NFL level. He said quarterback play, offensive line play, and he said. In the NFL, the offensive line play is the best he's ever seen. In the NFL, he, and he was like, um, he said that the offensive line coach that they got, mm -hmm. he said that he is the best to coach them young guys. So if he, if Phil Snow is, you know, satisfied with his offensive line coach, and he a defensive man, kid, man. No doubt. Their offensive line going to be all right, man. Training, training camp going to show all that. Yeah, it is, man. And I can't wait till they yeah. open it up, man. Because no. they can't stop feeling feel, feel, uh, schemes uh, when, they, when they put offensive versus defenses and stuff like that. Uh, uh, you might want to take that back. Now, let me ask you a question, <laughs> Unc. I, I want to get, get your take on this. <laughs> I want to get your take on this, Unc. What do you think about him stacking the box? Or My man, Poppin' Bullet, said he think it's bluff, but... He said they're gonna stack the box with safeties and everybody's gonna be versatile. And again, I, big cat, Matt, I loved it. I fucking loved it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When, when when they asked them, they asked them why or with all the backfield or the defensive backs that we drafted, what do right. we plan on doing with them? Right. And and that's when he said, shit, a lot of them is gonna be in the box. We drafted a lot of players that could be versatile. Oh, that could play. Goodness. You remember? And then he, he was like, uh, he was like. He wants to be able to run multiple packages. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, multiple packages with the with the uh, team or with the uh, 
Hey, look, got this, he want to run multiple packages out of the uh, personnel that he run on the field. That was, i.e., that no huddle defense I was talking about, Big Cat. Right. Shit, man. Hey, look, and we got these young bodies to do that shit. It ain't like we're an old squad to where, where, you know, the defensive line good for, you got a defensive lineman or a tackle that can run first and second down and you got to run his big ass off the field. We we got we got young depth, big cat. Them little niggas gonna be and they gonna be energetic. You know what I mean? He wants some uh, he wants some ball hawks on the backside. You know what I'm saying? And I love it, man. I love it. We we gonna have to have ball hawks with these right. quarterbacks in our division. Right. I just took real. Hey, we don't want them motherfuckers to be able to throw their ball fifty yards down the field, big cat. We don't want no big explosion plays on defense. Damn straight. Well, well, what Damn what 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 I'm saying is is. I think we're setting ourselves up if we're selling out for the run. I think they're selling out everything to do, like, to stop the run, man. But, again, that's when play action come in. You're talking about 827 uh, yards, Matt mm-hmm. Ryan, 980 yards for play action. This, this is off of play action alone. 980 well, yards from Tom Brady, 827. Let me, I got him, Tommy. I got him. <laughs> hey, hey, Big K, let me ask you something. Yeah. What? what? Is play action predicated on what? What if you can't do this thing, this one particular thing? What will shut play action down? Run the ball. Goddamn right. Now you you look at the teams in this division. We ain't really got to worry about no fucking monsters of running backs. You see what I'm saying? If you if you talking Todd Gurley, that nigga ain't gonna last all year. Yeah. If you talking Alvin Kamara, he gonna carry the load this year. I doubt he make it a whole season. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know who the fuck running the ball in Tampa Bay. Ronald Jones and Kevon. Uh, oh well, Kevon well you can cancel the nigga. You know what I mean? Plus, if you're closer to the line of scrimmage. Um, you can blitz more, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking, Tommy. Yeah. Exotic blitz, uh, yeah. exotic blitz packages. You know what yeah. I mean? Big yeah. if you got if you got <laughs> if you got ten motherfuckers in a box with a single safety, what if you're an offensive coordinator, what do you see if motherfuckers bring ten in the box? One single safety. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be hard to run that motherfucker, man. Oh no, nah, you you probably thinking uh, a fucking blitz is blitz. gonna come off the edge or right, something. Right, you know, right, you right. got eleven in the ten in the box, one single safety. Now, from, and, and you, you you remember we were talking about breaking field snow down. I did some, I did a little bit of film study on his ass. Okay, and he will he will bring eight nine in the box, big cat, and then simply motion them niggas out yeah. right before right before the the ball is snapped. Them motherfuckers to get back in their position. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yep. And where's the blitz coming from? Where's the blitz you, coming you, from? You can never tell. You That's can never right. tell who would feel snow. That's right. I just don't so want to see that. So I don't know, man. I'm I'm fucking excited. You know me what I mean? Too, man. Me too. I can't wait, man. So are you telling me that we're I don't know, man. Ah right, man, I'm with you, bro. He said he's he's kinda he's kinda double talking though, bro, because he's saying that we're gonna get our butts kicked in the secondary. But but y- y- y'all guys are telling me I don't know, man. First year, know. first year. Right, listen, That's what he's talking about. Listen, first year. Cat. Listen, Big Cat. Yeah. We are going to. You can't tell me you don't get excited now. Maybe this first year, man, it might be a little rough. We're yeah, still yeah, yeah. Have a top ten offense. Defense takes a little more time to stand together. Right, we right. Be dangerous. Yeah. Hell yeah. Be yeah. Old draft. Yeah. yeah. Be dangerous. Nasty. Well, no we doubt. We made history. We we did all defensive picks. Never done in NFL history. Come on, man. We have, we ain't never seen a defense like a, a, our our defense be like this. You know what I'm saying? Like all this disguise and who who's coming from where uh, at the last second? Where are we gonna drop back? And oh, we ain't never seen that shit. Hey, see, Tommy, I don't think we ever had the personnel on defense Hell, to run these schemes we about to do. We ain't never been this loaded on the back end of defense. You know what nah, I mean? We never. We never had the personnel as coaches. Well, exactly. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Exactly. Well, here's my yeah. problem. Nobody about their job. Nobody sees the fucking. There's nothing wrong with bringing secondary up to stop the run. Nobody. Let me ask you this. Back in 2003, when we had Mike Rucker, Brinson Bruckner, Julius Peppers, and no boys up there. Did we have niggas in the box stopping the run, or was it that front line stopping the run? Oh, no, that was the front line. So why the yeah. fuck are we sitting here talking about bringing up cornerbacks and shit now when that line was able to do it themselves? I want my line to do that. I want my secondary yeah, to get back. Smoke. Yeah, but, yeah, but who's going to smoke? Don't you want to know um, that everybody on the team can blitz? 
Like, if we're relying on if we're relying on secondary to come up and stop the run all year long, we're in trouble. If you're saying the only way we can stop the run is by blitzing secondary safeties nah, and shit, that ain't, we're that in ain't, trouble. I don't think that's the case, Big Cat, nah, because nah. we got them big motherfuckers on the defensive line. They gonna be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think when Phil Snow tells you he gonna bring, you know, eight, nine, ten in the box. I think that's that's more so a war to the to the to the opponent. You know what I mean, Big Cat? Yeah, yeah. So if, if if Tom Brady know he gonna be facing eight nine in the box, that means his game plan changed. And yeah, it is. Mm. Now Phil Snow can tell you he go blitz eight or nine all game. I, it, look, Big Cat, what what would that look like if the defense blitz all fucking game? Exotic blitzes all game long. Silly shit. It, it sounds like to me the defense got their shit together. Eh. And stopping the run. And stopping the run. Eh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what up? They can't see that shit. Well, what, what, what I'm saying is. It, successful, he has to have a running game. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So we stacking the box. We are confusing the hell out of Tom Brady. Now, yeah. Where did Tom Brady come to? He came to our division. He ain't never been hit from the board from the south. Woo. And he's going oh, to he gonna get his ass game. felt. Yeah. Man. He's going to get he, felt. Yeah, he's going to get ass whooped, man. Listen, I'm trying to tell you, we got the right coaches to scheme on him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he, ain't, quick enough, he ain't quick enough in the pocket, man, to escape all these blitzes coming out of his ass. Hey, Tommy, <laughs> we, there, is no, there is no dual threat quarterback in our division, man. The only one. Exactly. The only one close to it might be. Teddy Bridgewater, big yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be nasty, dude. Oh, say that again, man. Say that again. Hold yeah. Up, listen. Say yeah, that I, again. I, they don't be listening, man. They don't be listening. <laughs> shit. Talk your shit, man. Talk your yes, shit. Sir. Big cat. Now back to back to that. If it, if there's no dual threat quarterbacks in our division, do, does that play a factor into what you think? What match it is? Yeah, well, what, what 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 do y'all say about Teddy Bridgewater? What's his number one feature? Release. Get the get the ball out. Quick. Okay, there, there's your answer. Did, okay. Did I answer yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know that's what they projected. Yeah. Teddy Bridgewater to take a lot of underneath throws. You know what I mean? Now, if this nigga want to shock somebody this year, big cat. He need to let that bitch fly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Bridgewater want to make a name for himself. This time, this nigga really start going down the field. You know what I mean? And how do you get the ball out quick when uh, you got all this pressure coming up in the middle? Uh, I mean, what do you do? What do you, what do you, how do you step? How do you step up in your throw when all that push is coming from the middle? No, the, hold on one okay. second. Shout out to Atlanta boy twenty three. Atlanta boy um, wants to join the channel. Um, uh, uh, tell him how to join the channel. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, he wants to be a member. You, yeah, you want to become a hey, member. Hey, hey, all you got to do, Atlanta boy, is, is go to Big Kid. Go to Keep Panda TV on the site or, 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 or YouTube or they got their new website, my G. On YouTube, it's a join button, a blue button beside the subscription button. Hit the join button, and, and we got three different tiers, my G. Yes, sir. Three different yeah, packages. Hey, whatever tier works for you, work for us. That's right. That's, That's right. right. If you want to get rid of those Falcons. Come on, join the Panthers, brother. That's right. Yes, sir. And we, and we are steady <laughs> taking different applications. Hey, <laughs> hey, we can burn them motherfuckers too, big cat. Yeah. We, we, we can burn them fans now. If, if you want to be a part of this, man, you got to say, fuck your old team on camera. Five-second video. Or, and or, say, pause up. And pause up. That's it. Hey, join the best thing going on today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Join the best thing going on today. No right. doubt. No doubt. Now, yes, now, let me ask you this. Uh, what do you think about my man Phil Snow say he want to fatten up YGM? He said YGM 270. He said Marquise Haynes 240. He wants some fatty daddies on that line. <laughs> fatty <laughs> daddies. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't That's nothing right. wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, it makes shit. Hey, how much did Pep weigh? You remember that? Uh, 290. 290. Pep was a big motherfucker. 290. Yeah. Almost 300 motherfucking pounds. Silent muscle. You hear me? Yep. Hell yeah. Beast. Big yeah. motherfucker, man. And, and that's what he said he wants to do to um, uh, Brian Byrne. He said he ain't never coming off the field. He he spoke highly of Brian Byrne. He ain't never coming yeah, off. Hey, he spoke. Hey, hey, and he also said be looking for Brian Burns not to have his hand in the dirt every fucking position. Man, I'm yep. telling you. Yeah. 
It's, yeah. it's, it's gonna get real yeah, interesting, big cat. Yeah. Oh, real in the wrestling. Can you imagine Brian Burns standing up, man? Come on. I can, I can, yeah. especially, especially if he ain't, if he not in there. Say if we come out in the four three, and and they got Brian Burns on on outside linebacker, and it's a blitz package, and they bring him up on that shit. It's gonna be terrible. Yeah, it's gonna be goodness. terrible for a time break. <laughs> it's terrible. But it's talk. <laughs> yeah, like we said, draft night. They gonna be playing patty cake at that motherfucker. They gonna be, they gonna have meetings this time, baby. Patty cake on his ass, huh? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I can't wait, man. I, I can't wait, wait, man. I cannot wait, man. For real. Let me see, real hey, quick. Hey, Big Hey, do me a favor, man. Will you do me a favor? Yeah, sure. Will you hit that Chad Zilla real quick? What Chad Zilla? Right now. I, I ain't got the music. The <laughs> intro. You the intro. The intro. What intro? The pause up? Yeah, come on, man. What do you mean, Chad Zilla? Oh, yeah, as far as they man. Oh, no, no, no. I can't, I can't hit it on while, while we're on the line because I got everybody on the I'm using the same device. Good. That's all good. Yeah, but I, I hit it when we get the right, fuck up we, out of we're here. Gonna, we're going to get Big Cat a soundboard. Please. Y'all yeah, go ahead and donate. We're going to set you up right. We're going to set you up right, yeah. Big Cat. If I can get a soundboard to go into this mixer, we'll be fine. I better play that here. Um, hey, we're going to hit you up right, man. No doubt, no doubt. Let's let's talk about what he said. Hold on, the seven hundred four. Hold on, y'all. Yo, seven hundred four. How you living? Ain't nothing blessed, bro. Happy Father's Day. All right, happy Father's Day to you. Let me pot you through. All right. All right. We got seven hundred four. Charlotte Bound on the line. How you living? Seven hundred four. What's good with y'all, man? Happy Father's Day, all the fathers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What up, seven hundred four? Ain't nothing. What's good, popping bullets? Oh man, chilling, man. Chilling. Another day, brother. Oh, yo, hey, yeah, Mofo, you, you, you hear this shit Big Cat spewing this morning, though. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> you hear this shit Big Cat spewing this morning. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> always, always. Come on with well, it. Because I, I, I woke up to the damn surprise of show. I was knocked out chilling. I woke up and seen it. So it's all love it. though. Love oh, it. I love it. You know, I love these mornings. Yeah, 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 coffee yeah, and yeah. everything. Right, you exactly. damn straight. Yeah. That's how you start the day off. That's right. That's, that's right, it, man. Good. Hey, one hell of a Father's Day gift. Sir. I think that's <laughs> right. No doubt. No doubt. Much love. <laughs> that's facts. <laughs> no, nah, but I'm just, I, I mean, I like all the shit Phil Snow talking. I mean, I mean, because you had X, Y, Z, put on the check at the mic linebacker. I think because, for one, like Luke said, it's going to help out Shaq with roaming around the field. So if, 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 if uh, the only thing is Whitehead got a lot of his coverage because his coverage was real bad. Mm -hmm. But I think. Uh, you know, the defense line just get get real good. The quarterback, he ain't got to do much. The only thing he got to do is just worry about covering, you know, tight ends come across the field or the wide receivers in the slot and shit like that. Okay. But Shaq Thompson going to be able to roam like a motherfucker because, you know, that got all the big fellas in the front. Hell yeah. He's going to be able to be like TD speed and just roam around the field and just hit motherfuckers. So Hell I think that's going to be too. good. No doubt, to me. No doubt. Shout out so to Martonius Crow. Uh, they're trying to take the pressure off because then he, I mean, that could be in the back of his head, you know what I'm saying, trying to replace Luke. And nobody can do that anyway, so it really don't even matter. That's right. Shout out to 350. said, uh, support the Gallo with the Kai Shipe and help get a soundboard. Much love. I appreciate that. Hell yeah, 350. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the uh, membership, hey, Martovia. Hey, Martovia. Hey, Martovia. Hey, I boom, you and 350 did was hella entertaining. I fuck with these Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah 350 is a funny guy. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you funny as hell. Funny as hell. That's my guy right there. Yeah. Yeah. But, but he speak the truth, though. He speak the truth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Panther fan. I mean, you're not going to get... You're not going to get no bullshit from a certified Panther fan. He's going to tell it. you how it is. Yeah. That's right. I, I enjoy Ed Reed. I assume my hat with Ed Reed. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that nigga look like Ed Reed, yeah, though? He was Ed Reed, big bro. That's a dad, that nigga like Ed Reed. <laughs> True. Uh, now, now, now let me ask you about this. Um, he spoke about our. Hold on, I got my notes right here. He spoke about our um our current roster. This is what he said: If you look at how fast they are and their size, they have talent. So it's our job as coaches to get them to play at the level we want them to play. That's our job as coaches. We can mm -hmm. use excuses and do all of that stuff, but that's not coaching. That's not that's, right. that's not what Matt rules about. So it seems like I know a lot of us are giving yeah. what's the name praise, but he's saying Matt Rules is not about excuses. He said it's our job sure. to put him in position. So maybe, maybe, maybe what we're seeing out of Phil Snow is really an echo of, of Matt Rule. Could, could it be that? Mm-hmm. No, right. yeah. That's why he bought people. Yeah. 
Developers of men. Yep. Developers of men. We never heard that shit from uh, fucking uh, Ron. Hell, Hell no. Yeah. No. Hell no. We heard no. the same old bullshit. Ron Rivera is out. Uh, well, excuses, pretty much. Exactly. Yeah. Same, 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 same code sign of line. Exactly. Missed opportunities. Missed opportunities. And, and this, <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> hey, hey, this, the, this is what else he said. He said, when we get a player, we need to develop the player. And we pick mm-hmm. these players for most part. We picked most of these players for the most part. We picked Eli Apple, and we looked at his size and his speed, and we expect him to play good. Jason Simmons, our, our defensive uh, uh, passing game coordinator, he wanted him bad, and I'm so excited that we got him. So a lot of you guys are looking at um, Eli Apple's numbers from last year, and you guys were sitting there saying he can't cover, but they're looking at his size and ability. Sometimes, again, man, yeah. let me tell you something. I may have, you know, a car that you used to have, but I took care of it better. Now that motherfucker runs smoother than what it was. And so it doesn't take away from the car. It actually enhances it. Maybe Eli Apple needs a right. uh, change of scenery. Maybe some, some coaching staff out there over the Giants or at New Orleans couldn't figure him out. Maybe. Yeah, they put him on an island, yeah. They it, put him on an island. Probably, Everywhere yeah, he's been. Yeah. Yeah. What did he do down here? And then when he went to uh, the Redskins, he doesn't fit that scheme. Right. So yeah. they're gonna make sure that they put him in a scheme to win. And watch him ball with the damn uh Buffalo. The dude ball. ain't number twenty four. But he gonna he gonna handle his business with Buffalo. I know that much. Let me let me ask you all this: When did Eli Apple have his best football? We're not talking about just NFL. We're talking about period. When did he play his best football? At Ohio State. At where? And Ohio State. And, and and what is that? That's college. <laughs> and, and what kind of That's coach we brought in? I, I see where you're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> I see where you're going. And Ohio State produced some pretty good cornerbacks too. Also, I mean, we had Chris Gamble, and it's, it's some others in the NFL right now. All right, Tommy. Hey, we're doing the uh, Tommy scheme, right? T- Tommy we're doing the college scheme. So we're getting Tommy. college cornerbacks. T- Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, Tommy. Yes, sir. Yes, what, sir. What kind of coach is he? <laughs> He's a college coach. All right, so <laughs> don't don't be surprised when Eli Apple come out this motherfucker looking like a quality player. I'm yeah, gonna go ahead, for real. I'm gonna go ahead and predict yeah, this right facts. now. We're gonna be the youngest team. The youngest. Te- We're gonna have the youngest team fresh to win the Super Bowl, bro. When? Oh, Woo. oh, oh we're I'm the ready. Youngest players, bro, to win the Super Bowl. I want a damn ring, man. I want a ring so fucking bad. You don't understand? I'm gonna tell Charlotte up. We get that shit. Oh my God! I ain't lying, man. I ain't, I'm I'm calling in to work, man, for a whole week, man. Shout out! Yeah, yeah, I'm down now. Shout out to no doubt. Shout out to King D's. King D says, "I heard y'all talking about the linebacker talk. What is y'all opinion on Jordan Kuznowski? That's the Clemson kid, if I'm not mistaken." Kuznowski? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me about it, y'all. He's got that. I mean, I think he's gonna be special team player at first, and you know, kind of fill in the different things. So I think I think Andre, I think Jermaine Carter, and Andre Smith. Different one, you know, Christian Miller. I think they're gonna, get, <clears throat> I think they're gonna get more sta- uh, snaps at first. So I think he's gonna be the special teams and fill in guy. Unless, but you know what? I don't want to say this unless somebody get hurt. But you know what I'm saying? His ceiling's higher than the other linebackers. though. his ceiling is higher, man. I seen little flashes of him. He, and this is crazy. I'm not gonna try to um like you know, say that he's like Luke, but he had little flashes, man, that look like Luke sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like just the way. He, Kind of moves around and stuff. It reminds me a lot of them, but he's got a long ways to go. But he's got a lot of upside, man. His ceiling's I mean, a lot higher. I mean, I remember when we had the dude uh, from Clemson from off that, the, 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 the championship team. What was oh, his name? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I, he turned, he should. I mean, maybe nah. he didn't get the, the, you know, the good. I don't even want to say this word because Ron Vera. Maybe he can get the good opportunity. Cause ass, but, I mean, but hey, it, it, I mean, he didn't get fucking. No, nah, I mean, he, he was just winding up getting cut. So who knows, though? No, I think no, he. No. I think he was a more of a feel good story than anything. You know what I'm saying? They basically brought him in like a feel good story. You know what I'm saying? True. Oh, oh, Big K, let me ask you a question. How can how can you prepare for a, a defense that that keeps changing up their players? How can we you prepare for something like that? You can't. <laughs> no, you can't, man. From week to week, it's going to change, you know? Yeah, From week to week. Know, I don't know if you can study every 52 players on the team. You better. You better. If you a fucking NFL coach, you better know. You better know. You better know. Nah, that's your job. That's your job. That's your job to study all 52. I hope I ain't got no coaches in here studying 10 people. 
I don't know. The it, it first first string uh, uh, offensive lineman is, is is ready for the second string uh, defensive end coming in. I mean, I just don't know if he ready. Pop, like, pop, he, pop. He only fo- focused on burns. Pop. Yeah. What 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 you're what you're saying is this right here? Because this is what Luke Kuechly is going to be doing. He's going to be helping out, looking at player personnel from yeah, week to man. week as well. So. I will hope this motherfucker ain't scouting just 22 men. I hope he will be scouting everybody. Oh, he will, man. He will. He, he will. No, I'm just saying, like, other opposite players, like, opposite mm-hmm. teams. Like, when we line up against Atlanta and then we sub somebody else, how do, do the other players know who this man coming in? Nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah. I don't yeah. think they're going to do that. If they got a scouting report. It's all about the scouting oh, report. Okay. I see what you're saying. One, 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 of my, one of my favorite things I used to do when I played ball was – I am a a a a, a uh, study hound. The coach will come in here. He will come in here with like a little playbook like this. This is who you're going up against. Now the, on this play sheet right here, it will have the first team player. Okay, this guy does this really well. He they have the star. The guy will be circled with the star. He's the star player. Blah blah blah. His backup does this really good. So it's, it breaks down every player. Then on the second page, it would have play tendencies. If they line, a lot of my plays I made were based off of looking at formations. I seen this. Now listen, this this, this is how good I have as, as a coach right here. My coach said, "Look, when they line up in this formation, the fullback never puts his hand on the ground. When the fullback never puts right. his hand on the ground, it's gonna be a quarterback keep." Do you know when I when I was in the game and I watched the motherfucker shift over and the fullback didn't put his hand on the ground, I knew exactly what the play was. And how about guess what? I end up getting a sack. So that's right. called studying, learning. The, you know what I mean? That's called. I love that shit, bro. I made a I'm play based on studying. Corner, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. Glad, I'm glad Luke's in her corner, man. I'm gonna tell you that now. Uh, this yeah. he could speed up the the process, man, of how oh, quick we develop. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. That's why. That's why I don't know if y'all remember, but Julius Pepper, as soon as we drafted Derrick Brown, Julius Pepper asked him, "What he said, what was your weakness, or what, or what do you think your weakness is?" And I think he yeah. said maybe his pass rush or something like that. Mm-hmm. Just man, we got the goat at the fucking the best. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So Pepper's gonna instantly, automatically work with him and develop arm moves, swim moves, get him just getting everybody <laughs> best at that shit, man. And YGM. Exactly. Yeah, it is. So, so let me get this straight, fellas. <laughs> because so what you're telling me is we got we got two pretty much two Hall of Famers exactly on on that on that deep on that all uh, in the organization that's that's helping the team yep. out. Yeah. Yes, sir. As far as yeah. technique and mm-hmm. yep. you know educating these motherfuckers on what they need to know. Is that what yep. you're telling? Me? That's what I'm telling. That's you. That's it. So, so what? what <laughs> What's our major problem then? We, we we I feel like the only thing we 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 uh Experience. we don't know is Experience. the fact that we ain't, yeah yeah but it also go with us because we ain't seen shit yet. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's true. Facts. It's gonna be, man. It's, I'm telling you, this first year and uh, me and Tommy in, in agreement with this. Yeah, we go we gonna we gonna take some spankings here and there. There we are. Experience. But I promise you, this second year, because we did that four years since Super Bowl. No doubt. Damn. Okay. First year, it's a dub. Second year, man. Unk, you say you, you said Unk, you say you don't know what the problem is. Yeah, I mean, see, okay. as, as we talking just inexperience, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got you right here. Here's the problem, and I quote. There's no substitute for experience. <laughs> <laughs> the way we. <laughs> yeah, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to coach so thank you, uh, Phil Snow. There's no substitute for experience. The only way we're going to learn is getting our ass kicked and ass getting kicked. our asses kicked thoroughly. <laughs> Yeah, this first year, man, we're going to get an ass whooped, man. Look how lie. awesome that is, man. We got a GM that knows what's going on already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He already knows yeah. that he's going to take a couple losses. You know what I'm saying? Now, he ain't taking no money losses. Yeah. But he, he, he's prepared mentally for it. Yeah, so that's why he gave Ron, Ron Rivera and all them chances because – but they window closed because they didn't have they didn't have no they didn't have no no bigger picture. Mm-hmm. Right. They ran out of ran out of ideas and right. creativity. Right. You had to get them old farts out of there. You know what I mean? And too much uh, too much loyalty to veterans that were mm-hmm. kind of on the decline. You know what I'm saying? Veterans that were on the decline. He he stuck. Ron stuck with them players that man just for loyalty. I guess man. I don't. Hey, see that. see Tommy. When you say that, I remember when Matt Rule and and, and uh, you know. 
pep came in, and when they got to cutting the veterans and shit like that, us as fans, we talking cash shit. What the fuck yeah. they We ain't got no leadership. See, you fast forward to now, you can kind of see the vision. You know what I mean? Damn straight. Hey, exactly. and what did, uh, what did Tipper say, man? When he first came, what was the three things he cared about? What was the three things? I want to hear it. Winning. I know that was one. Right. What was number two? The consistency of winning. The, the long No. no. He, he won winning, winning, and winning. Awesome. That was it. It was the three things he said he, he cared about. He said you wanted to win on the field, off the field, the, the whole nine yards. He wanted to win, win, win. That's it. Yeah. So this man, he, he's going to cut through some shit just to make sure we got some rings. He knows we ain't reveling until we get a ring. So yeah. he might have to do some shit that upsets us, man, just to get make sure we get the ball rolling. So that's the only w- reason why I give Tip a little bit of a pass is because he's a great man. He's an he's, he's a aggressive man. Like he's gonna make sure that we get a ring, man. So at least we're relevant in that way, you know. I just hope he keeps the culture the same in a sense because don't you know what I'm saying? Don't snip us for from our greats. If we get another one or two great players and they and ain't they time yet, don't don't you know what I'm saying? Don't get right. us. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, don't right. Do that to us, you know? Hey, but what's more important? If you had a ring, what how would you feel about it then? If you had a ring. You got a ring out. We cut a goat and then get a ring in next year. Okay, all right. Yeah, man. Yo. What's in? What's in? What's happening, G? Let me pipe you through. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Sam. Much love, much love. I think they, I think they call for green. Yo, we got. We got QT Zero on the line. QT Zero on the line. QT. QT. What's up, man? What's up, man? Hey, you too, QT. You too, QT. I know you're a pop too, my G. <laughs> I'd be surprised if my daughter don't creep up on me right now. Now, let me be on this phone right now. True. I feel you, man. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all speaking some truth. I ain't gonna lie. I thought that was like the weakness of our defense is that linebacker for me. Right. I mean, it might be the weakest, but I, I wouldn't say that quite yet. I think still the secondary might be the weakest because we don't I, have I don't think so. I don't think so. Especially if you keep Brian Burns over there in that line. Man, I, I feel like our, our linebacker is our weakness of our defense. Yeah, that's why I always you, I kind of said that because we had Luke and Thomas Davis, and then we had right. Shaq. That, that was the, like the, the ultimate. It was three different fucking beast mode categories. Yeah. It was a big so blow. Hey, let, let me ask y'all fellas the question. Oh, what what team, what what NFL team is solid in every facet of the game? And I'm talking about what we, we what we talking about, I'm talking about what NFL team is solid from the ownership down. And when I say that I say from ownership, the coaches, all of and because we what Q T just said made me think. He said we weak as that linebacker call. And I remember about, you know, a month ago. Our weakness was our secondary. You see what I'm saying? Right. So now, if the weakness ain't the secondary, and now it's the you know the middle linebacker or the linebacker call, I want to know what team in y'all eyes has every every facet of their team, you know, sitting at the top of the the fucking league. And as far, as far as defense, you get we looking at the you know the cornerback, linebacker, defensive line. Let's start there. What team is airtight there? I don't know one. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I mean, go ahead. Even though I kind of hate them, but I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna say the Steelers, and why? Because look, the Steelers last year they was on three and four uh, quarterbacks, but the coaching right. always was good. And then they went and always improved themselves. They went and got a solid pass quarterback by getting fixed. This uh, what you call it? This, uh, yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah. That was a hell of that was a hell of a hell of, Exactly. And he came in <laughs> on the defense, and you know I'm saying you. You like you always gotta do something to improve your fucking team each and every week. I don't give a fuck what it is. You well, but seven more four. I, I you, now see you gave me you gave me an example on the defense, but the the offense the offense ain't half tight. I'm asking you what team in the league is half tight across the board? Because they was missing Big B. If they had Big B, they was always hitting on. Something. Oh shit, man! Look, look at look at, uh, look at Kansas City. You know? He's a dinosaur. Kansas City didn't have the best defense. You know what I'm saying? At all. You know. But they they were really really strong on that offense to where they could outscore people, you know. No, nah, but, but I think people slept on their defense. They defense stepped up though. They defense they stepped did. up major. They did. Major. I'm still sleeping they on their defense. I ain't gonna lie. I, I can't I can't name you like five. I can't name you three players on that defense. Right. 
Doc? I stepped up, man. I hey, but that, that's why um, that's why we're going to have more players up on on the line of scrimmages because of our linebackers. I think you know what I mean. Because uh, they know, I think Phil knows their weakness is at linebacker, and that's why he wants more guys in the box to help out the linebacker core. Yeah, bro. Hey. He has to design the defense. Yeah, that's right. They say they're putting Jeremy Chin at linebacker sometimes. I'll let yeah, them yeah. Know. yeah. Well, well if, you, if, if you're imagining the 4 2 5 scheme situation, right. you know, think of if you had motherfucking an extra Jeremy Chin out there to come, you know, weasel up and, and affect the run if need be in a yeah. better position than what an actual safety would be doing. Yeah, he, he's got the size, man, to play a weak side, you know, every yeah, once in a while. Size and the speed. Speed. Right. True, and I got that that move uh, Kitty up be down. Scary year two, boy. Well, well, the first end, safety at that point. Right. And come right. and be playmakers in, in in the back end. I like mm. the way Brian Roy is so turned up, and he ain't even a starter. He's like, yeah, exactly. Scary. Exactly. Now, but he know the system, though. Yeah, we're going to be a fraud. He ain't even a starter talking like that. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's a good sign, man. Hell yeah, it is. Hell that that yeah. means. I'm with you, Uck. I'm with you, Uck. Man, I don't know what motherfuckers be tripping off our record prediction. I, I'm still holding on to 10 and 6, you know. I ain't nothing wrong with that, QT. QT. Listen. I'm still QT. Hey, go ahead, big cat. I'm sorry. No, it's all right, man. It's all right. QT. Yeah. <laughs> Can I help you out with something real quick, Marty? <laughs> what, what was your record prediction again? Ten and six. Okay. Do you, do you know who Phil Snow is? <laughs> well, he's a good guy. Do you like how you like he talk? You like the way he talking? I'm fucking with Phil Snow. I'm fucking with Phil Snow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, come, on. come on, big cat. Take your paws off that I, man. I know, man. right? I know. Take your paws off. What is this motherfucker doing over here? Well, now check this out right here. Phil Snow said this, and I quote, There's no substitute for experience. <laughs> The way we all learn is by getting our butts kicked, right? In your business and in our business, that's how we learn. So we're going to go through some growing pains. Now, what part of that says 10 and 6 to you? I'm a little dumb today. It, sound, it, sound, it sounds like a good little cop-out way in case this shit go bad. Right. In case this shit, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's a... Yeah. It's a a safety measure, you know, for his comments that he's being quoted on so on, and you know, that we have to, you know, negotiate about every single time he says something, you know what I mean? Like, what if he does break? Then then what, you know what I mean? This is all out the door, right? Hey, what was his record uh, first year at Temple and first year at Baylor, first year? I think them niggas won one game. And, yeah, and, man. Yeah, and, then, and then two. And yeah, two man. in Baylor. Yeah, we're going to have a rough one, man, this year. I ain't going to lie. I don't, I don't think so, Tommy. I, look, man, what Big Chad say, we're going to get our ass beat a few times. Oh, no. Man, I, that's that's, that's going to count for five or six losses. You uh, see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I just said, your, your coordinator said it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't go off that logic, y'all. I don't go off what he did. I mean, I'm going off that. But we ain't no fucking college team, and we ain't no one. Right. We, this Panther team is not no one win team or two win team. No, no, no. Hell no. Now, it's going to take a, a it's gonna take a defense stronger, a longer time to gel than it is the offense. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's gonna, that first year is going to take them a while to get used to that system. You know what I mean? Hey, and see, what I do like is the whole time we had Riviera coaching, that motherfucker never once really highlighted the problem as far as Damn. personnel go or where, what our weaknesses was. You you never heard Riviera talk like that. You know what I mean? Which, which to me would imply that that motherfucker ain't know. He didn't know where we was weak at. Right. So, mm -hmm. But when you see Phil Slow sit down and these motherfuckers ain't played a snap yet. And, yeah. and he's able to tell you where he believes he's weak. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's right. So, you know, man, I don't, I don't know, Big Cat. I just see a different tide when it comes to coaching, man. These coaches, if, if we got if we got top flight coaches, God damn it, yeah, that means yeah. our team will, will, it will translate to the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
because Ron Rivera didn't take responsibility, man. That's why missed opportunities. This coach, this coach, is <laughs> in the draft, nigga, missed opportunities everywhere. <laughs> that shit was always on the player. That shit was always on the player. I ain't and lying. Not his ass. Hey, shit. Hey, Big Cat. Yeah. And, and years prior, our defense or offense has been weak before. Never once did a regime that we had draft one position all draft. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. See, this, see, you got you to gotta look at the kind of shit going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Well, who said this earlier? I think Tommy said this earlier. I think the first time since 2015 we're looking at our offense carrying this team. That's going to be the story yeah. of the Carolina Panthers. If you want to know what the 2020 yeah. story of the Carolina Panthers is going to be, it's going to be our offense. So where, oh, if we man. do good, we do bad, it's going to go through our offense. Oh, no. So in 2015, you taking respect off of that defense? No, no, no. No. That defense was hell in 15. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what, 2015, yeah. our coaching staff let us down in that Super Bowl. I know that much. Yeah, you got that right. They, they didn't address or nothing. Nothing. They let Mike Rimmers get his ass whooped the whole entire game. Exactly. Let him go one on one. Exactly. Yeah. Right. You don't do no dumb shit like that. Yeah, that was dumb. That was and who, who who was their coach? Yeah, that was Ron Very Ron? missed opportunities. He was the NFL coach, not a college coach. He went yeah. to go talk to John Madden. He went to go talk to everybody. He yeah. hadn't been in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Hey, obviously, you ain't do shit though. Them conversations <laughs> ain't mean shit with them because you ain't hear shit. Yeah. Yeah. Not a damn thing. Suck a shit. Silly shit, huh? Yeah, suck a <laughs> shit. <laughs> but, another thing, but what another thing impressed me about Matt Rule is everybody overlooked this shit, man. But I always say special team, man. Everybody always yeah. overlooked the fucking special team. And he always hit on that shit. I think he damn straight. Gonna fucking man, I've seen him. special teams win ball games. And that's yeah, one That's one facet we've been weak at for years. You dude. damn straight. We, we, man. we, we man. had a motherfucker run a kick or a punt return back, nigga. And yeah. so long, man. And so fucking long. And stopping the, uh, stopping the other team, man. Yeah, man. See, that's that's, that's what I want to see on this uh, on this team, man. I want to see a, a, a better special team, too, Big Cat. All mm-hmm. three phases. All that's three phases. Yo, uh, Yo, uh, What's up, Q? You know what's crazy, though? Know, what's the only thing that came from the Riviera regime? Chase what's Blackburn. That? Chase Blackburn. Blackburn, dude. Yep. Yep. He's the only one. There. I, I, I was I was a little questionable about that. I was like, I was like, I fuck with Black. Like, I was like, why is he the only? Like, there must be something that Riviera did not do right with him, or I don't know, didn't let him do his shit because right. he's there. You know what I mean? He gonna have to step up, man. He might got, step up. Got might be on the line, and Colin Jones might come and take that shit. That's the team leader. I hope not, man. Well, well, then I call, then I call it out about um about Justin Burris. You see how yeah. highly he spoke of Justin Burris. Then I say that nigga's gonna be a sleeper. Uh, I, hey, Big Cat, I heard that too. He he made sure to let let us know as Panther fans not to overlook Justin. Oh Burris. no no, y'all, y'all ain't gotta mind me. I, go back and look it's at the live not. I did. Go back and look at the live it's I did. Not. What what did I say about Justin Burris? He's he gonna be silent. He's gonna be silent. Yeah. I, yeah. Hey. See, a lot of you hey, niggas are waking corner, up now. Justin <laughs> Burst can play corner too, man. A lot of you niggas been napping corner. for too long. He can play corner and safety. True. Y'all niggas so ain't been doing y'all research. What would you rather do? Would you have. You rather have Burst at safety up there with And then, you know, or like. Uh, or would you have Chin out there and then Burris? Both. I told people it's going to be a mixed package. It's going to be a, a, a mixed package. Just depending yes. on the, you know, the team we play. It's going to be a mix. So, yeah. so 7 on 4. Yeah, yeah. 7 on 4. Yeah, what's good? So what you're saying is there's going to be a committee in our secondary? There's not going to be a true number one? That's correct. Uh-uh, that's correct. So this is what I've been saying, right? It's going to be a committee, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So I think Steve, I know what I'm talking Steve's about. <laughs> so week to week. It's not going to be about who's number one this week. It's going to be about who matches up with who best, right? That's right. That's right. matchup. I love it. Love it. It sounds like coaching, right? Exactly. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, Big Cat, if you know know your employee can't handle a certain workload, you don't put that shit on them. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. You can't put that shit on that man if, if you know damn well he can't handle that shit. 
Exactly. That's, That's what right. Ron did. Hey, That's what I, Ron did. I got a quick question, y'all. Did, did, did any other than me? I felt like they kept trying uh, uh, <laughs> our coordinator, bro. What well, tell me? Because they were like, well, you know, this is your first time dealing with, you know, NFL <laughs> uh, schematics. You, do you think that you, how are you preparing yourself? They kept asking him all these these stupid ass questions. He's like, hey, look. I was hands on in, in LSU. I was <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the Saints. Like, we're stop time, my man, just because he's 30. Yeah. yeah. He's a baby genius. Yeah. He had good, he went vegan. You know, see, I believe they, they question him like that because he's young. You know what I yeah, mean? Trying to break his time, man. He came back on their ass. You know what I mean? Listen, listen. Yeah. Because he's young, you know what I mean? You can't get, you know what I'm saying? You can be young and still pull somebody girl. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, no, oh, that's easy work. No, yeah. Uh-huh. Him, he's on the up and up, man. He's on the up. Yeah, you still could be young, pull somebody, girl. If you got the right UPS, <laughs> the right package. <laughs> Let me ask you this: Have y'all read the book? Have y'all gave a cat a, cat a cookie? <laughs> but anyway, man. So what you were saying about Joe Brady, man? Um, you know they young. Of course they're gonna fuck with him, man. You know what I mean? If I'm not mistaken, right. at LSU he was just the passing game coordinator. He wasn't the right. offensive coordinator, so maybe they right. they try to fuck with him. Probably. Right. But that, that, I hold on. I was curious on those questions, though. Even though it was kind of like hitting them up with it, like his, I was curious on that shit. You know what I mean? I, I was like, yeah, I, I feel that because that's what it is, his title was: is a passing game coordinator. How much you know? How much did you have with the run? I was curious about that. So that that answered questions for me as a fan. Hey, but yeah. He also said, uh, Curtis. Well, he said, of course, you know, saying he's going to use CMC as the you know main focus and the main piece. But yeah. he said Curtis Samuel would be like the pretty much the playmaker. He's going to be important to our offense. So yeah, he got to step up and do his shit in the slot yeah. and whatever else. He yeah. better. He's he going to be me. He's going to blossom in the slot. He's going to blossom in the slot. I'm going to probably say it right here, right now. He's going to be the motherfucking comeback player of the year. Yeah. I can see it. Uh, I'm gonna say it right now. I can see it. I can say it right no now. No comeback, really, though. Cause I mean, he had a high year. Yeah, he had a decent really year, though. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. I got Dante as mine. You. Come back more like Dante Jackson or you know somebody that right. kind of had a down year type shit. Yeah. But yeah. I've been believing in Dante. Phil Snow said he just got to need more de- detail and technique. That's all he needs. Yeah. He already yeah. Got, he already got the tackles and the dog in him and shit. That's all he missing. Yeah. Just coached up. I'm glad he called him out on that too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you have to. You got to yeah. call them players up. Yeah. Welcome to the membership to the... To. Oh, shit. My man purchased the Superstar Package. Atlanta boy. Shout out to Atlanta boy. If you want to call in, you can call in right now. Hell yeah. God hey. damn. My G. Shout out to hey, Atlanta hey, boy. Shout out Atlanta boy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Sign that application. Sign that application. Appreciate that, no, G. No, no. <laughs> I, thought, I thought Atlanta boy was already a Carolina Yeah, he is. He is. He is. He is. It, uh, it's, it's not just Atlanta boy. Oh, uh, I got you. I got you. He's been a Pendleton. Yeah. I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right, my man. Popping bullets. I got to give you the last word. I'm going to take another caller. All right, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, we training in the right uh, uh, in the right uh, direction and everything. And you know what I'm saying? I, I hope we just get a season, bro. Pause yes, up. Yes, sir. It was a good time. Uh, Pause up, man. All right. Yo, this Atlanta boy. Yep. Hey man, congratulations! Welcome to the club, bro. Let me happy Father's Day as well. Let me uh, patch you through. Happy Father's Day. Appreciate. It. Feels good to join. Much love. Appreciate it. So. Hey, m- much love. I appreciate that, Kat. It's nice to wake up on Father's Day. You know what I mean? Get, Very get, welcome. Get some good football. Very welcome, yeah, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. We got Atlanta boy on the line, man. The newest member, the only member of the Superstar Package, man. So shout out to Atlanta boy. How you living? Happy Atlanta Father's boy. Day. Shout out, Atlanta boy. Big shout out. Man, what? Man, what's going on, man? I finally was able to get through. I, I realized I couldn't do it through my phone through the help of Shelly Long. Shout out to Shelly Long. Shout out to Shelly Long. Right. Shout out to oh, Shelly, man. Oh, yeah. What's going on, fellas? What are we talking about, though? I ain't going to be man. I, uh, man, I don't know what's been going on, man, but I've been noticing. I've been having to catch a lot of replays of, of the show because I ain't been getting no notifications. My phone, man. No doubt. Uh, I been on. I ain't really been, you know what I mean? Yeah. YouTube been fucking me, bro. I don't I don't know what I did. I don't know what it is, man. They just, they just ain't giving me no love, man. I don't know what's up they with scared, it. They scared, man. They scared. They, know they see the come up. On. They see the come up. That ism, man. You be speaking that real shit, and they'll that's right. hear that shit. 
Hey, no, this is worldwide now. It's going worldwide. Hell yeah. Much fire. We global. <laughs> yep. Damn so, straight. So what I'm, what I'm trying to do now is get enough uh, viewership so we can go over to the website now. Now that we got the website, we're going to do a live oh, streaming. You got a website? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Tell them, tell yeah, them what it is. Yeah, you ain't checked it out yet. Nah, I ain't even know, man. Yeah, I'm going to say somebody go ahead and drop the website or uh, the link in the chat. So you know, Yeah, hey, it's up. straight up. It's, it's straight. Keep pounding TV. So, Keep pounding TV show.com. Keep it all up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so we gonna leave YouTube now? Yes, sir. That's the goal. That's the goal. YouTube yeah, that's yeah, the goal. Man. That's oh, the goal. Shite. We no, could we could do direct. Yeah, shite. we do it directly from the website, man. I mean, got to deal with motherfuckers trying to hide your ads and all this stupid yeah. shit. Hey, yeah, we out. Hey, yeah. shout out to everybody, man. Happy Father's Day, man. Happy, Happy Father's Day, Day, man. Happy Father's Day. Happy hey, Father's Day. hey, one love for that, man. Much love. That's right. But they gotta deal with, that, with the extra bullshit. Yep. That's right. Yep. Well, let me ask you this right here, man. How, how you feel about Phil Snow's uh, latest interview, his press conference? I didn't see it. What's he talking about? I didn't see it. Oh, you want, you want to tell you what he's talking about? Yeah. All right, let me help you out. <laughs> <laughs> here, here we go. This is what he said. No, you good, man. Oh, it's all good. good. Man. Hey, man. Much love. Right here. When I found out my boy had that membership, I said, oh, yeah, I got to get that. Oh, yeah. yeah I appreciate that. He got college football, so I can see my dogs win championships this year. Okay? Goddamn right. Go dog sick him. <laughs> you always know. Well, check this out right here. According to uh, Phil Snow, he gave a press conference with Zoom uh, to some of the uh, Carolina Panther reporter. This is his response to uh, having young secondary players. He said, there is no substitute for experience. The way we all learn is we get our butt kicked, right? In your business and our business, that's how we learn. So we're going to go through some growing pains, but I think we got we hired the best guy to coach them in defensive passing game coordinator, Jason Simmons. Now, when he tells you that, how do you feel about this season? When he tells you we're going to get our bus kicked, but it's going to be a growing pain. Hey, hey, you remember when, when I had called in and I was like, he was asking me what we want to see for this season. I said, we just want to see who got heart. Yep, we wanna, right. We're going to play. That's basically what he said to sum it all up. He wanted to see who's up that gonna come up and lay down, you know what I'm saying? And, and who's gonna who's gonna really show if these niggas really wanna be out here. So you know so, I mean? so basically, hello, I'm sorry, Atlanta boy. So what you're telling me is that it sounds to me that the entire I ain't gonna just say my Panthers organization, but let's say the entire NFL is gonna pretty much use the early part of the season, or if not the early part, the entire season. It's off. It, it, they go use it as off season training almost because they ain't getting none. Because it sounds like to me, it sounds like to me nobody nobody has had you know full eleven only eleven eleven drills. You know what I mean? So no 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 NFL team is truly getting contact drill. So, so they every every team gonna have to use the early part of the season as a you know as as a, look at it as a preseason almost. So you know what this remind me of? Uh, this remind me of when we drafted Cam and we had no OTA. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this season is a it's a it's a a free fall for anybody because everybody's going through the same bullshit. So you know what I'm saying? We could creep up on anybody. You know what I mean? And and, and they never see us coming. They don't know what the fuck scheme we run, and we got young dogs ready to prove themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole, it's a whole thing. Like we got a whole coaching staff who, who trying to pretty much, uh, you know, trying to not make history repeat itself. They, they, they trying to go in the opposite direction because you know what they history, they've all been losing within their first couple of seasons. But now they trying to hit the ground running. You know what I'm saying? So we got that on our side too. So you, I just feel like you never know how this shit could go, man. And one thing I like about <laughs> coaching is you don't know. You don't know what the fuck he's going to do, man. He was wrong. Bill was a good head defensive coordinator, but the problem is he's so predictable. Yeah, that's, that's right. Hey, uh, hey, shout out to Kendall Francis for that cash app. You know I love you for that, Kendall. Shout out to Kendall Francis for the cash shot. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, that's right. That nigga's yeah. a wizard, man. Shout out to uh, Kendall Francis. He's a wizard, man. Yeah, that nigga's a wizard when it comes to. I think so, man. I, I, I like, and the the most the big cat keep he 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 reading he reading uh quotes from uh Phil Snow's interview, but 
He uh, look what he also said, man, is is look, man. God damn it, man! You gonna make me look at the interview again? <laughs> Go ahead, listen, listen. Uh, you know you gotta have the nose when you fucking with your boy. Yeah, yeah. Well, smoking, well, smoking, no doubt, no doubt. Let me... One, one thing I do like about Phil Snow, our defense ain't about to be pussy. I know that's true. No doubt. That's right. Yeah. He's real detail oriented too. Hell yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Sure. Watching, listen, watching uh, Baylor's defense, man, they used to call them motherfuckers the Bad News Bears, man. Right. Man, right, I ain't gonna right, lie. Right. I'm a dog fan. But the first quarter, them niggas were giving it to us that we adjusted. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Um, this it's week, really cool. I and listen, this week I'm gonna do a zoom and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna record the, the game. I want you guys to see what I see when Temple played Notre Dame. I, I gotta tell you that. Hell yeah. Now, Hell let, yeah. Now, now, let me show you this right here, Atlanta boy. Um, my man also came out and spoke about versatility. He spoke heavily, heavily on bringing safeties in the box. He, he said Trey Boston was good in the box. Burns was good in the box. He said Jer- yeah, he Jeremy did. Chan could play nickel. He could play middle linebacker in the nickel. But check this right. out. He, he's he's harping on versatility. Now, yep. let me let me read some numbers to you. I want you to sit back. You know your boy do his research, right? You trust me? A lot of boy, you trust me? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. All right, so here we go. Last year, Matt Ryan. This is against the play action. 113 play action attempts, 827 yards. Tom Brady, 126 play action attempts, 980 yards alone off of play action. Drew Brees last year, he was hurt, only had 54 attempts, 492 yards. Now, with that being said, he's harping on bringing safeties into the box to stop the run. Why in the fuck would you try to do all that when these guys are almost throwing 1,000 yards for play action? Now, Here's the thing. Here's the here's the thing. Now Atlanta last year, thirty three point nine percent running the ball. Uh, Tampa Bay 37.7 running the ball. New Orleans forty percent. They're gonna be one. Uh, one dimensional. So, 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 so check this out. If you're selling out. To stop the run. If you're going to bring up, if listen, if you bring ten guys up to stop the run, I'm gonna let you tackle you a running back. Can't. They better get there. They better you you better there. fucking get Damn there. Damn straight. <laughs> or you're gonna be going on a ninety yard chase. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, that could be, that could be a smoke cream. That's what I'm thinking, 704. 704, you a smart nigga, boy. Of course, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. You don't put all the information out there for everybody to already know it. All your shit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Shout out. Shout out to, shout out to 350. He said, just bought the official KP TV Paul's Up hat. Much love, man. Hey, one love. One love. Hey, see, I got to get me one. He the first one with one. No, Chad Zilla is. Chad Zilla bought the first one. Much love. Okay, okay. Right. Now, let me ask you this, Atlanta boy. Uh, Atlanta boy, when you hear... All this shit about stacking the box, and you hear how good these guys in our division are against the play action. What comes to your mind? I look at it like this, man. The the, the, the fucking secondary defenders that we we drafted this year, the niggas can man up. Hmm. Fucking Robinson can man up. Chin can man up. Now, now, just just because they man up don't mean they about to be locking down, nigga. But what I mean by that is at the line of scrimmage, you're going to feel they push, which is going to be That's all you want. That's why when we played the Falcons and Dante Jackson was getting cooked by Ridley, he wasn't fucking rerouting the nigga. Hey, look, Ridley, Ridley is one of the, see, we, we got to, we keep talking about Julio, Mike Evans, and all them motherfuckers. Yeah, Ridley, that motherfucker's special, man. Yeah. He's going to make you look stupid. So, one thing I like about uh, Corey Pryor, Corey Pryor is physical. He just going to get his head turned around. Exactly, yeah. But you can teach that. That's what I told him. So, the, 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 new, the new guy, uh, what's his name, Simmons? When I look at the nigga, he, he seems like he, he ain't nobody fuck with. You know Jason Simmons? Like, mm-hmm. like yeah, Jason Simmons. I kind of like that about him. Well, here's my thing, man. I mean, I don't know if it's, I don't know if he. Go ahead. You talk about that 425. Let me, I got a trivia question. 
would you think? What linebacker played in the four two five in college on our team? Mm, Shaq. Ooh. In college linebacker. Was it Shaq? Uh, yeah, I was gonna guess Shaq. I ain't gonna lie. Was it Shaq? Nope. No, no here's why it is. Shaq was playing running back in different shit with Washington. Oh, um, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna. T- I'm gonna give you the score that they ran. They were trash, but they ran. Okay. North Carolina. Yeah, I, I'm a Hill fan Carter, too. I Carter, should know that Carter, shit, man. Oh, Andre Smith. Andre Smith. I mean, I mean Andre Smith. Right? Andre yeah, Smith. Man. Yeah, you I should know that uh, shit. They ran the four two five when they played when Trubisky was with them. That's right. And they played yeah, the yeah. dome against yeah, the dome. Yeah. Remember when we beat them? Yeah, they ran that four two five. Yeah, oh, man, I should know that shit. Yeah, man. y'all sleeping on Andre Smith. Line, nigga. Andre, Andre will give it to us. Yeah, I like Andre. That's right. I like Andre. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I feel like that four two five can help him out. That's right. Yeah. It might it might help all of them young players out because they they gonna have players to lean on. Yeah, if you got five back in the backfield, shit, man. If you got five backfield players out there, that means one one Pacific player's not gonna get picked on. He's gonna have help at every given moment. That's right. Yep. 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 Well, here's my thing, y'all. We're going to be running 3 3 5, 4 3, 4 yep. 2 5. We're going to be running multiple offerings. Got that right. You can't prepare for it because everybody's not going to have that personnel to prepare for it. Mm-hmm. But I want to throw this in, too, y'all. I'm not afraid of Tom Brady. I'm going to say this. The only one who could truly air it out is the fucking trash ass Matt uh, Ryan. But we all know the thing you gotta do is get pressure in his face. He's just gonna throw that shit up in the air. That's all he's gonna exactly. do. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Breeze, breeze, and fucking what's it called? They just wanna be technical and just dump that shit off and do this little pre shit. That's all they're doing. Yeah, they're, they're, they uh, predicate on timing. You know? Exactly. But see, exactly. my problem is this, right? If you know what type of quarterback Drew Brees is, when that, and I used to get so mad at Ron Vera. When you know that nigga is, you can't play zone against that nigga, why would you play heavy zone against him? That's all we do. We play heavy zone against that nigga. And you notice when we play in the playoffs well, that year, at Cam in 2017, we didn't really play heavy zone like that. And you see how close we came to beating them niggas. Yep. That's I don't understand that shit. You know this nigga is gonna throw in the zone. Why don't you take that shit away from him? We kept playing that heavy zone shit there, and then fucking next thing you know, uh, Michael Thomas tears up through the middle. Yep. Fucking Mars, tear us up through the backfield. Mm. All types of stupid shit, man. Play fucking man with them niggas. The only nigga they had was fucking Thomas. And they had, uh, what's that type see, of thing? That see, when y'all talk like that, man, Michael Thomas, let me tell you something. He, he gonna do what he does to every fucking back or cornerback they put on him, and that's throughout the NFL. Right. It don't, it, I mean, Michael Thomas is something different. Yeah. When it comes to the wide receiver, he does just like but who no, what you got to do about you got to hit his ass. You got to hit his ass. I mean, he, hey, you can hit that motherfucker too, Sam Mofobic. He stop, though. He will he, stop. I don't know, man. I don't know. He, I mean, I'm going to wait and see till he, he going to have to get older before he slow down. Listen, that's why I, I understand that's where weak. you're coming from. But at the same time, when you play somebody like Julio, DeAndre, you let them motherfucking get there. But they not gonna kill you all game. You gotta stop everybody else. That's if why I get just a quarterback get there and stop everybody yeah. else. They're not gonna beat you. Well, listen, man. Here's my thing, man. I'm okay with that, but I just don't want to see no fucking. Nine, ten man box the whole game. I want to see. Listen, remember two thousand three, Brinson Bruckner, Julius Peppers, Chris Jenkins. Those guys were able to get it done without ten niggas in the box. So why yeah, can't we go yeah, back to this shit? I don't want to hear this ten man box shit. You know, a co- yeah, maybe a couple yeah, times. A couple you, times. I think you're playing too much in it, my G. Because right. it's, he, I like said more folks say it might be a fucking smoke screen for him to. That's his coach speak. That's how that shit is. Not about to tell niggas what we do. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah expect exactly. us to have. It's good to put in the back of it. It's good to put that balls in their head, though. Exactly. Yeah, Ron was bad about that, man. He let everybody know what the hell we we're doing. I know every. Oh yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna do this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the start of the season last year, yeah. that fuck ass nigga told everybody that we running a three five. Right, right. <laughs> I'm like, right, 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 right. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, yeah. We gonna run. We gonna run. 
y'all ran a three four this year. Yeah. This nigga said yeah. three five. So, so year before that, we gonna draft three four fucking linebackers and try to fold three things we need. And then the next year, yeah, we gonna run three four. Yeah. And I split to the fucking middle. Yeah, tell him. he told Breeze, he told everybody, they said, oh, okay, we got a fuck ass team running three four. We're going to tear their ass up. <laughs> Don't worry. Y'all going to see, he's not going to get them niggas over the hump either. He's going to probably have one of the best defensive lines besides us in football. I, I think so. I think our defensive line is, 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 is probably underrated because we ain't seen them play yet. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And they, they ain't open swine. They ain't open swine. And talk that shit, 704. Everybody always talk that shit, but it's, ain't nobody seen nobody play yet. But everybody want to talk. I ain't seen not one goddamn preseason. Ain't, ain't seen shit, but everybody want to talk. No, no. Shit about it. <laughs> ain't seen nobody <laughs> tell that. I'll tell you what. One thing I do like is, uh, hey, how y'all like my, my boy Rodney Smith, man? That's that, 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 the one that we drafted out of Minnesota. Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's nice. He's old. Got some yeah. wear and tear on. He 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 he, he, he tore his ACL twice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know. They got some he, skills, man. Kind of like a boom bust. You know what I mean? I feel like he fits right in our system. He's healthy. Hey, you know? He's good out of the backfield too, man. Yeah, yeah. He definitely can get out that backfield. Right. True. True. And let me ask you about this. What do y'all think about Stephen Weatherly? He said that um. He could see him becoming an elite pass rusher. So you mean and to tell me? Is, is absolutely fucking right. That's the nigga we ain't talked about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Come on. That motherfucker too, for real, for real. Let's fucking load it. Well, let's talk I about him. He's raw, nigga. I watched the nigga play. He's yeah. good. And you he's... got fucking, uh, we just drafted YZM. YZM yeah. ain't got to start. Yeah. You can come off the fence. You can put Wesley to start. Yeah. I think he will. I think he will. Yeah. I'm telling you. They say what the rotation, man. Could you imagine if we got YGM, Brian Burns, and Weatherly, uh, and they all turn out to be elite pass rushers? Uh, God damn. Christmas. Hey, Christmas. Christmas. Everybody, everybody is going to be fresh all game long. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 Yeah. 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 We're going to be flexing on people, man, for real. That's why the last five or six games of the season, hell, we could go on the road. So, hell, you mm-hmm. never know what could happen. Especially towards late in the season, man. Hey, and what, what about the defensive tackle rotation, too? Yeah. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Got you know Roy, and I Zach think that Roy's gonna make it. Hey, sure. hey. So, so what the fuck are we talking about, fellas? Uh, when y'all talk, all I hear is 11 and 5. 10 and 6. Hold on, Hold on, what you say now? This cat. Yeah. Look, 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 every time I, I hear y'all say something, and then y'all turn around and say, the fucking D line is stacked. All I hear is 11 and 5. Okay. I'll give fuck with what y'all say. All I hear is 11 and 5, 10 and 6. So what's your question? <laughs> what's our major fucking problem then? If we right. look at this organization as a whole right now, let's just talk team. Okay. What's our fucking problem? I got we you. have none. No, no, no. I got you right. Here's, here's our problem. Nah, we, There's we no have. substitute for experience. The way we learn. <laughs> Listen, that, that, I ain't gonna keep taking that experience shit. Football, like Phil Snow said, football is football at every fucking level, big cat. Yeah. He said if, if you run ISO in high school, it's the same thing as ISO in college, yeah, the same true, thing true, as true. ISO in NFL. He said true. football is football across the fucking board. Exactly. So if you know how to play it, you know how to fucking play it. That's right. True. Yeah. Thanks. Well, hold on real quick. And that's not a feel snow now, big cat. No doubt. Tommy Boy, I'll give the last word. I'm, I'm going to add in 350. Tommy yes, Boy. Hey, happy Father's Day and pause up. I love talking to you guys. Have a great day. You too, man. Bless, man. Happy Father's Day. Pause up. Hey, hey one love, Tommy Boy. Oh, Much love. Shout out to Tommy Boy right there, man. Uh, Let's see. 350, you can go ahead and call in. And, uh, yeah, again. It sounds good. I think we look. The main thing that I love about Phil Snow in this interview is, he said for, first of all, the, the first thing he said was Brian Burns is not coming off the field, and he said he wants to beef him up. That's that's what I like yeah. because that's yeah. what I've been saying. I've been, he yeah, said he don't want to beef him up. Yeah, he want to beef him the fuck out. So why the fuck Riviera ain't do that shit? Soon as they soon as they drafted his little lightweight ass, why Riviera ain't sitting down, put him on a fucking regiment from day one, big cat. 
I would have took that nigga to goddamn. I would have took that nigga to goddamn. I'm talking about. You don't put a, a, a first round pick on special shit. I mean, you yeah. I mean, you can do that shit, but you do it in like second half yeah. or you know to fucking get a spark. You know what I'm saying? To get a big play to go out there and block the block. Of now I'd have never play. put Brian Burns. Yeah. That nigga would have never been running yeah. no fucking gunner for me, man. Silly shit. Never huh? ever. Silly, Silly, Silly shit. shit. That's a spark. Oh, you got to sometimes. You nah, fuck all that. That's that's just yeah. putting him in. That's, that's giving him more probability of getting hurt. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I'm that's way too risky. How the fuck did Rivera find a job after doing some dumb shit like that? Because he had it already, big cat. I told you. Hey, I told you, before that skiing game, four days before the Washington Redskins game, the Redskins, Dave Snyder had Riviera and his wife in D.C. looking at property. Wow. He bought the ass a house four or five days before he got the job. Wow. Yo, what's up, nigga? What's going on? Hey, ha happy Father's Day, bro. Merry Father's Day, brother. Let me patch it through. You've been in playoff contention. Yeah. No doubt. Man, when I found out that motherfucker was in D.C. five days prior, looking at properties, big cat. Wow. Him and Dan Snyder and Riviera wife, nigga. Wow, real quick. I said, oh, oh, he knew what the fuck he was doing. We got yeah, he probably had this shit figured out week one. We got three fifty on the line. Three fifty on the line. Three fifty. What's up, everybody? What's Merry Father's Day, everybody. Yes, sir. Same thing, you babe. So, hey, talk, talk this shit. Three fifty. Big cat, big cat, spewing a bunch of shit this month. <laughs> <laughs> I love this nigga right here. This is my guy, right? This is my brother. That's my brother, man. Unk, man. That's my nigga, man. Yes, sir. You already know. Let me tell you something. When I would have drafted Brian Burns, I wouldn't have had no draft party like like at the stadium. I would have drafted this nigga at a Waffle House, and he would have came on the plane, and we would have met at the Waffle House. I would have ordered that nigga two plates of steak, two plates yeah. of eggs. Regiment all rip. I would have seen him coming and go. Yeah. 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 yeah, minus the bread, though. And then a half brown. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got to have a double order hash brown. Hell yeah. God damn. Why you do that to me, boy? I how need you to swim up there. Hey, how you like your shit? Scatter, cut it, mother? <laughs> I like it all the way, nigga. I get ham, cheese. I like everything in my shit, boy. Don't doubt, nigga. Don't doubt. This nigga that got me hungry. Yeah. I know. I was about to say, I'm about to go cook something right now. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, man, I want to wake them boys up. Nice little breakfast. Some turkey bacon, some eggs, grits, and cheese. You feel me? There you go. Yeah, that's how it is, baby. That's good eat. But the main thing that I, the main thing I liked, I took away from this interview was, and, and and you guys should be excited about is, Phil Snow said we're gonna be rotating bodies so often, if somebody gets hurt, it's not even gonna matter because everybody will have experience under us, because he's gonna be rotating. It ain't gonna be, you know, you know, some teams rely on superstars the whole game. It ain't gonna be like that. It's gonna be rotation. I know, I know one organization that does what you just said well, big cat. The, Patri the, the motherfucking New England Patriots. Yep. The Patriots. The Patriots. All about that stuff, man. Yeah. Don't give a shit about who you are. It's all about the talent underneath. As soon as yep. you fall, like like Uncle was, uh, like Uncle was saying, what are you gonna do when you go down? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that nigga got quote for days, don't he, man? <laughs> I got the memory. That nigga got some good quotes. <laughs> oh, you need to be writing motherfucking gift gift greeting cards for Hallmark or something, nigga. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's fucked up, man. You got some good shit though, bro. I tell you that. Let me let me let me tell you this right here. Well, how do y'all feel about Brian Byrne? He said Brian Byrne is not coming off the goddamn field this year in twenty twenty. Hey, I love it. I fucking love it, man. If you can keep him coming off the field, I mean, again, Atlanta. Yeah. He fucking fall down, fall down back, man. Yeah. Now, one thing I will say is he do need to be fucked. Yeah, he does. We can hide him, though. You can hide Brian Burns. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, big cat. If they keep him on the field, that that means. That means they don't plan on they. That means they plan on goddamn getting off on third down, like the fucking like your fucking opening track. They catch first down, second down, settle down. Right. They plan on goddamn 
They playing on goddamn getting off the field. Yeah, if, 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 your, if your defensive coordinator telling you bodies is not coming off the field, that means he don't see the, the, the opposing offense controlling the ball too long. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the only way to get teams off the field on third down is by blitzing them motherfuckers from exotic. Look, we might have some fellas. All I see is 11 and 5. I wish I had that. I wish I had So, what are you asking us? I'm, I'm asking you the same thing. What's our fucking problem? Because what, if, if, if we look at this team as a whole, you the only thing you can say is, an experience, you know what I mean? Well, the, the main problem is in all seriousness is, and I quote, there's no substitute for experience. I <laughs> 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 ain't me with this shit, man. <laughs> 350. But you right about that. We need that experience, we need a continuity, we need it to gel because we need the fact that for our defense to flow with one side of field knowing what the other side of field is going to do. Like, for example, we need to know, have some continuity with Brian Burns and linebacker, or if he's going to play on a, on a defensive line. We need the linebacker to know oh, what he, his tendencies or how he rushes. All right, if he rushes like that, the B gap is going to be like a flow there, A gap, whatever. You just mm-hmm. need that, like you said, experience. That comes with experience. Oh, no, I just said this. Our, our coach said this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, well, you reiterated. But, yeah. but Phil Snowman, he's telling the truth, man. He's. He's just he's seeing it how he's seeing it. It's a young group. There's going to be some growing pains. Going to be a lot of mistakes. There could be a couple of games you lose from like one major mistake that might be something small. It could be a, like I'm saying, lose by, you know, a short score or something like that. But mm-hmm. now I'm with you, man. We're, we're not yeah. we're not going to get our ass man. whooped. We're not going to get our ass whooped. I'm going to see that. Yeah, motherfuckers don't, don't lay down. That's all I care about. Yeah, man. we're not going to lay down. Heart, so. no, hell yeah, no. we're laying down. This how I see it. You're going to get punched in the mouth. We're going to cough in your face. You feel me? So, That's you know, what I'm saying. I'm going to get you. I want to see it. Why y'all yeah. I want to see it like if you hit my quarterback late, I'm finding your shit. That's what I want to see. I want to yeah. see some old school. Fuck all that new shit. Yeah. I, I want to see. I want to see a bitch. Pick, pick up your brother when he's dead. Fuck that. You ain't hey, no I, hey, I, I want to see this defense put late shots on players. I, I mean, I want to see a dirty defense. I want to see Vontaze perfect across the whole what? defense. <laughs> what? Nigga? That's what I want to see, Big Cat. I want to see some flags stowed on this defense. <laughs> You're going to see some flags, though. Hey, 350, what kind of flags we going to see? Oh, you're gonna see a whole lot of flags, cornerbacks gonna be holding. Hey, yeah, he said you're gonna see some flags. <laughs> they ain't gonna be the ones he wants, but. <sighs> Damn, three. Yeah, man, I do. I wanna okay. see some late. I wanna see late hits. I mean, for real, real. Motherfucker out of bounds coming back in. I wanna see him get hit. I wanna see late, late hits. Nigga, yeah, man. I think that's a long pain with coaches, too. You know, like challenges and, yeah. you know, just yeah. the fucking, you know. Yeah. The fucking just in the game speed and everything else, so it's gonna be growing pain with the coaches too. Yeah, so yeah, you know, like it, you know how many how many teams played against Cam Newton, knowing that he had an ankle problem. So when they tackled him, they were twisting his shit yep. after every tackle. Oh, oh, okay, see, so this is the defense I want. If Tom Brady is ailing the knee coming in Sunday, I want the defense to take shots at his goddamn knee every chance they get. You see what I'm saying? Was, was that that Raiders game that they were twisting his ankle? Was it a Raiders nah, game? Yeah, they, Vontaze Burfitt did it. Yeah. The Cincinnati, Vontaze Burfitt did it. He was twisting that nigga shit. Everybody tried to sack him. They go for his legs. Yep. Yeah. That's some good. So, so, so my point is this. Was that the other team's coaching telling them niggas to yeah. do that? Or yeah. was the NFL turning a blind eye to it? That was some great coaching, nigga. Uh, well, Ball, that was both. Huh? That was both. Huh? Yeah, look at Cam. Like, oh, you be all right over there. Hold on, say that again, Atlanta boy. Marvin Lewis would let you go in a fuck you want to do. Mm. He's playing on the Marvin Lewis, man. Mm. Marvin Lewis ain't giving a fuck. He's old school. Like, shit, get the job done. That's right. 
That's right. Fuck them up. Get it. However it takes. Whatever it takes to get the job done. As long as you don't get caught. As long as you don't get caught. Right. Y'all niggas stupid if y'all think New Orleans is the only team that have bounties on niggas. Don't believe that, that shit. Niggas, everybody got bounties. Mm -hmm. What? Yep. Oh, they all, look, when I say this, everybody fucking cheats, man. The only team that's really got cops for cheap is the Patriots. Everybody does that shit. Yep. It's all about who gets caught. Yeah. Uh, I, I, did, did they get caught? Here? They ain't really get penalized. Did the Patriots really get caught for doing what the fuck they did? Or... Hey, yeah, I mean, they, they put it out in the media. But... The fucking commissioner destroyed the fucking tape. He didn't even want us to see what the fuck was on the tape. That's right. Bad. That's right. <laughs> You saying Roger Goodell does some sneak shit, man? You crazy. Never. That's why I need to <laughs> I trust if him. If it wasn't for Big Dad John Casey, there wouldn't have been no time for it. Mm. He's smart my water. Yeah. He can't be in my top, man. Fuck that. I know that's man, right. That's the culture you got to build. That's the culture you got to build, like on said. You got to put that shit in the players' heads. They want it. Well, I tell you this right here. A lot of I think we may be getting caught up a little bit in our emotions because Phil Snow did a good interview. But really, I think Matt Rule is the, he might be the, the puppet master. Maybe what the, 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 like the energy that you're getting from Phil Snow, maybe this energy is coming from Matt Rule. Like, you know, I know we like to shit on him and say he's a liar and all this, but if Phil Snow is bringing nah, this energy. Come on, big cat. What? Yeah, to me, I, I hear what you're saying, but. When, when, when I, what I took from the interview, it was one on one with Phil Snow, and, and he talked like he, like I don't know, man. I I I, I listen to Matt Rule, and Phil Snow is a totally different motherfucking. He a totally different character from Matt Rule. Had this been Matt Rule talking about his offense, he would have said a whole bunch of crazy shit. Ah, uh, you know, well, we're gonna. He would have told you exactly what the fuck he was gonna do. Yeah. Phil Snow was just more no nonsense than me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, Big Cat. I mean, you, you got a part there when you say that. Like Phil I agree. Jackson, man, man Rule would been denying that shit next week. I never said that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's a fact, see? You know he would have said, oh, I didn't say that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I never said 4 2 five. Like, You just said it, man. We got you on film now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, three fifty call him Porky the Pig. He said three fifty says he's a Porky the Pig motherfucker. A bleep, 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 bleep. Yeah, that's how he talk. <laughs> first night, yeah, when Joe Purse gave him that question, yeah. 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 what to say? Yeah. And them news reporters in Charlotte, hell though, bro. They be eating the fuck out of these goddamn coaches, bro. Hey, they they a get them, man. Yeah. Yep. Why would you? Why did you? Why did you find your your starting perennial quarterback for a tie? How can he wear a fucking tie? He's got on a fucking turtle day. Fuck up. <laughs> Silly ass. Silly shit, huh? So let me ask you this: I, I, for for whatever reason, Matt Rule, uh, I'm gonna give him the benefit of a doubt. But uh, I want to see how he is when uh, he get countered, man. That, that's just my whole thing. And this is something we won't find out till the season. I want to see Are when... Are you talking about Phil or, or Rule? No, no, no. I, I, listen, I believe Phil is, is solid. I believe in that nigga. Matt Rule, he just... He reminds me of one of them niggas that when they do the drive-by, I got to gotta get high before they put the work in. <laughs> I get nervous and shit. <laughs> but y'all forget Matt Rule and got... Phil Snow. He wouldn't got him. He yeah. seen something in him, so he wouldn't go get him. Hey, who's this? Hey, hey this, this, uh, Eli. Hey, what's up, Eli? How you doing? Let me patch you through, G. I patch you through. That was me was live back close to Detroit, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was live back close Who was this linebacker game? Levy, who was this linebacker game? Levy. It was Levy with Detroit. It was Levy. Um, they, I think their best linebacker was Levy and fucking, uh, Damn. Damn. I mean, oh, I can't. I, I just remember Levy. That was a more standout line back with Levy. Levy. Oh, okay. Did he make a pro Oh, uh, I, I mean, I, no. I don't think he is. Hey, I mean, who does make a pro Fuck the line. good enough. Exactly. It's the line. Who, who does other than Calvin Johnson back then? That was about right. it. Right. That's all they have with Calvin. He was fucking destroying niggas. Uh, That's not a, a, a bad nigga. No doubt. Hmm. Yeah, so all yeah, in all, 
Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. And how do y'all feel about Jeremy Chen playing linebacker? I don't know if you guys remember. Yeah, I don't uh, like it. Yeah, yeah. Like y'all remember uh, uh, a guy by the name of Bob Sanders? Thank you. That, that's the first thing that came to mind, y'all. Bob yeah, Bob Sanders is a guy who could play yeah, in the box. Was a flat yeah, but. He's in that box, nigga. So that so that's what Jeremy Chen is. He's a linebacker slash safety. But you see what happened to Bob Sanders, right? Bob Sanders was a defensive player of the year. Uh, I think it was two thousand seven, two thousand eight, if I'm not mistaken. But his career yeah. ended shortly because of so many injuries. Yeah. So that's my point. So that's my point. So I don't want to do chin like that. You know what I mean? I think sometimes you're you're putting too much on him. You're gonna end this boy's fucking career early because just because. Listen, Come on, just y'all don't push it out there. What? You right? You right? My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. You right? He said put Trey Boston in. But listen, bro, you don't want to have that guy playing linebacker. I mean, oh, man, I think they're doing too much, bro. Hey, Big K, he also said Trey Boston go well in the box, too. Yeah, let him play, play in the box a long time. Yeah, look, put his ass in there. Put his name in there, shit. Don't put that shit in chair like that, bro. That nigga's not big. Hey, when, when I see Ken, I see Ed Reed almost. You know what I mean? As far as, as, far as being a deep threat cover. Ed Reed could cover deep. For some reason, he was a hell of a deep, deep threat cover. Chin, Chin is going to be that for us. You ain't going to beat that nigga over the top. It's not going to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm hoping that nigga turn into Todd Taylor. Shit. That's what I want to see out there, nigga. Right? No doubt. Wait. I mean, let that man play the position that, that we drafted him for. You know what I mean? Man, we got so many. Hey, dude from, uh, what's the undrafted nigga, man? We got, we got another tall undrafted cornerback. That nigga might be all right, too. I mean, shit. We all never know, Eric man. Thomas from the We got the depth, man. Who, 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 yeah, it's corner. Now, it's yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. This was before we even signed Burris. Eh? We did a live show a while back, and we was talking about the cornerback position. Yeah, this was before we did a live show. Corner. 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 Elder and Cole Luke. Is Corner yeah, Elder still on the roster? Yeah, said. yeah. <laughs> now, now, fast forward to the day. Yeah. What you say? What say you now, big cat? About what our secondary? Yeah. So, so you want you want me to give you an answer about our secondary about being young or what? Well, I mean, well, when, when we had the conversation a couple before the draft, you was concerned about the fact that we only had three people at that position, three bodies, and and then the name. Now we, 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 our cup running over. You know what I mean? Okay, let, let, let me tell you what our cup running over with. <laughs> Oh, there's no substitute for experience. <laughs> the way we learn is by getting our asses kicked and get kicked thoroughly. In our <laughs> business, <laughs> this is the words of your defensive coordinator in regards to the secondary. <laughs> So are you? Yeah, it was cute that you mentioned all those players with potential. Kind of like with Ian Thomas, he's full of potential, but I don't think he's gonna pan out. He said <laughs> he said that it's cute, but experience works best. You right, you right. But he also said no, no team in the league has outworked them this all season. Now, now, mm -hmm. now let me tell you this, Dante Jackson, remember him? Yeah, I know him. Athletic as hell, right? Yeah. yeah. He can he's physical too. 
Now, what happened when he ran up against a Antonio Brown on a primetime stage? As fast as he is, that nigga run like a four. Okay, so you mean as gifted and special as Dante is, and he's four three. When you got up against that experienced receiver, what happened, Unc? You right. I can't argue that, man. So what do you think's gonna happen to these guys? <sighs> Hold on. I I tell you what's gonna happen to Unc since you don't want to answer me. Uh, nah, I, hey, it's fucked up, big cat. You, you see, you be put me, you be put me in the corner. You already know what's gonna happen to these motherfuckers, to these young rookies. You ain't not. not oh, hey, look. God damn it, big cat. There's no substitute for a spirit. Hey, bro, that's why I say them motherfuckers is going to have to learn how to damn the motherfucker off their route so that our fucking defensive line can get more time to get to the quarterback. Yeah. You can't fucking have these niggas trying to get to the quarterback and you got some motherfucking quarterback playing damn near two yards long. I never got that shit. I never got that shit when we did that shit. Mm. And then you just hit him in the zone. I hate, I never understood that. Hey, hey, you just made me see something, too. See, Tom Brady is the king for getting his hand, the ball out of his hands and, and, and lightning speed. Mm-hmm. So this is this is a reason Tom Brady really don't take too many sacks. Why? Exactly. Now, if this motherfucker's able to get that ball out of his hands faster this year, we might be in trouble, Big Cat, when it comes to inexperience in the backfield. Now, no matter how good our defensive line is, if Tom Brady already know where the fuck he's going with that ball, yeah. it's going to be a problem. So what you're telling me is there's no substitute for the experience. You, you're right. You, you, you keep hard. You, 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 you mashing that shit in my head this morning. <laughs> and you're going to be going to sleep like, God damn, you're going to be hearing that shit over and over again. Yo, it's it's the truth though. Now, then, 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 I mean, we think about it. <sighs> but there's no substitute for our young and fast. Yeah, ain't no substitute for you. Neither is it seven oh five. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's that nigga we drafted out of Florida? Stanley Thomas Oliver. Yeah. Seven oh four. What you were saying? There's no experience for what? I said there, there's no substitute for a young, a young fast youth. All right, now you wait. You stay right there. I'm gonna come back to you in a minute. But go ahead, go ahead, y'all. Oh, <laughs> I like that one. I like that one right there. Cause it's, it's gonna be real tough. They, they ain't gonna know what's up with us for like the first couple weeks, and that's like our buffer weeks. You know, uh, letting letting you know, get. Get used to the field and used to getting that Brady, kick. And Brady can do all he wants, but it's called intentional grounding. You can only throw that shit so far, and if your motherfucker down around, it's called intentional grounding. Now, 704, now, now what were you saying again? There's no experience for what now? Do I young you? I you. The speed. Okay, okay. Get these quarterbacks. Well, let me ask you this right here. What does this mean to you? Six receptions, 96 yards, one touchdown. Say that again? Six receptions, 96 yards, one touchdown. One touchdown? Yeah, what does that mean? What, what, do, do those numbers ring a bell to you? Yeah, who was that, Dante Jackson or somebody? Yeah, he was covering somebody. Um, that, you know, Dante's young and is gifted. Wasn't, you consider him young and gifted, right? Yeah. Now, he was covering somebody by the name of uh, Tony Brown. What do you think about those numbers? Six receptions, 96 yards, one touchdown. Oh, including one fifty yard chase. True. Uh what but, I said it is who was our coach? Okay. Sounds like he'd be out the game early. And he went in the locker room yelling and doing all that shit. Like that's supposed to argue with somebody. Nigga, your game plan was fucked up at yeah. the end of the day. Coming into it. Yeah. Call adjustments. Adjustments. Okay. okay. He never adjusted. You gotta make I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm a little bit concerned about Phil Snow's adjustments, though. You said you were hella juice on it. You saw, what was it? I think it was the Ohio game? No, no, no. Uh, Notre Dame. Like, Notre Dame. Yeah, you said Notre Dame. Uh, Notre Dame? Yeah. Was we... it? 
Dude, they were they were up and they just let them come back. It, it was no, like, bro, no, bro, they didn't have enough depth, bro. I mean, you know, Temple ain't got that many scholarships like Notre Dame. You know what no, I mean? That that's the reason why I'm not tripping off that. I'm not even tripping off that, bro. They didn't have enough scholarships. No, right. oh, no, it was Oklahoma. It was Oklahoma. That's what it was. It was Oklahoma. Oh, okay. You talking about the uh, Baylor game when he was with Baylor? Yeah, yeah. Baylor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, back to 704. I'm fucking with 704 today. I'm messing with him right now, y'all. Uh, yeah, that's right. I like him. I love it. It's all love. It's all love. Now, when you say it was coaching, right? Yeah. When you said Dante got his ass ate up like a, a shirt on a steak. Um, <laughs> because you didn't put your best cornerback on that best So it's fucked up off the game. Yeah. yeah. Just because you fast, they don't mean shit. You put your best on best. Mm-hmm. Don't put a fucking speed guy like this track and field. Like I was telling uh, class, man, they talking about four twos and all this other fuck shit. We don't play track, it's football. Yeah. Bro, but 704, it would have been worse if Bradbury was covering because he ain't as fast. Yeah. No, it ain't. It's it's at the time they had, they got Juju, so it's, it's two respectable receivers, though. I don't worry about Juju. Fuck Juju. Just like it's Juju now. Fuck Juju. Fuck Juju. Fuck Juju. Fuck Juju. Fuck Juju. I'm putting my best on AB. Fuck all that. So, now, now, back to what you were saying about coaching. I'm um, Stay with me now. You said they didn't have him in the right position. But w- w- what do you say if a coach, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, let's see. If a coach came out and said something like. <laughs> if a coach came out and said some shit like this, man. There's no substitute for experience. <laughs> <laughs> The only way to learn is getting your ass kicked and kicked thoroughly. So what? I mean, told, what kind of coaching told, is that, my nigga? He telling us the truth. I always say everybody got get, everybody got to get their cherry pop at the end of the day. Every each the, the first team, second team, third team, get that experience so that next year you already know these things. So you going through your lessons and you can learn from them. Let's. Life is lessons every fucking day, y'all. We wake up, we it's a blessing, but it's lessons in this shit every fucking day. That's right, so amen. We gotta take well, what we about take the rest of the teams? You don't think the rest of the teams have growing pains too? I don't think it's going. to... Listen, I think they will have growing pains, but nowhere near as that secondary. Yeah, you're gonna have a little growing pain with the linebackers to here, White, Shaq. You know what I mean, Andre Smith, uh, P- PJ, uh, not PJ Carter, but uh, uh, Pee Wee. Then you got the defensive line, but I think they're gonna be able to come over that that learning curve by week five, maybe even sooner. But the second day, it's going to take a little okay. time. I'm going to say this, y'all. I'm going to say this, y'all. Phil Snow also said he don't know which uh, – because he had defenses that can get it right away. So what if our defense get the shit right away? And then the offense – I ain't going to say the offense don't, but the defense just catch up, you know, quick I, with the offense. And the shit. I know, right? Talk that shit, 704. 11 and 5, 10 and 6. Y'all got to look at that different angle, man. Y'all got to look at the big picture in different angles. Y'all looking at that shit just – down the road with one vision. Y'all gotta sit back and look at this big ass picture, man. That's why I always look at the different angles, man. What's your That's record? What it is. What's your record prediction? Six and ten. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> are you saying? How you gonna do all that talking to seven four to come out here and say because, six and ten? Because <laughs> at the end of the day, definitely being real about it, huh? I mean, I'm not saying y'all ain't. I ain't saying y'all not because I will. I want that. Yes, I want to play off first and get that last seed or something. Yeah, I don't give a damn. Yeah, we can sneak in, but that's gonna be better than. I mean, we all know what the hell we did last year, and I believe this team is kind of better than what the team is last year because we're gonna develop them players and we're gonna grow each fucking game. We so to me, eleven five last year too. You said could have been eleven five yet last year. We supposed to be. What the fuck happened? You know. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Had Cam stay healthy, I was predicting yeah, twelve as both. Yeah, we can. Cam was healthy. We still have Ron. Hell no, hell no. I gotta be real about this year. You gotta be real about it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cause it's the, it's the schedule and being on the road. You gotta call. You know, I, I look at everything. Well, I'm not having winning season. That's why we didn't have a winning season. Cause our defense. Our run defense was that fucking bad. That's ridiculous. Um, it was damn near like the Lions in 2012 when they didn't win no fucking game. They beat the Steelers. Um, damn near the worst. Off our run defense alone for the past two. Um, say how the hell are you gonna do all that talking and say we're gonna be six and ten? <laughs> 
Yeah, if somebody here hit, hit me with a motherfucking uppercut, the elbow and shit. I mean, I feel you, but I just can't just throw out no 10 and 6 and 11 foul. I can't do that, man. I can't, I can't do that. Now, next year, now next year I can see that. But not this year. I mean, they could surprise people. They could surprise people. Yes, I got 7 and 9, too. Like I said, 7 and 9 at best. It's going to be 6, but it's 6 and 10 for me. But I hope we do shock the world and get that last playoff season or some shit. I hope so. Hell. So, would would, would would 10 and 6 shock you? Hell yeah, that's yeah. Hell yeah. 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 I don't see it happening, man, but if it does, I'm not going to be mad at it. You know what I mean? Hell no, I ain't going to be mad at it. <laughs> but I don't see it happening. I mean, I, can't, I wouldn't say I would be shocked either if we went 10-6. and six. With the with the offense we got, I mean, you got to – yeah, we still got CMC now. I mean, the hell, he got to account for some kind of goddamn wins. If he don't, why the fuck we sign him for that big extension? We still got DJ Moore. We 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 beat up the wide receiver core, so that Well see see hold on. See now okay. Now I guarantee you ten minutes from there you go we gonna get back on this defense and y'all gonna talk and how good the defense look. You see what I'm saying? Ten minutes ago the defense was strapped. That don't mean we gonna go center on center eleven games, huh? They still got a quarterback. You got a quarterback. It's team chemistry and everything. Yeah. He still got to play the game. And the oath, you know what I'm saying? 704 is right. Chemistry, bro. A lot of the You can't just put a bunch of talented niggas together and say, okay, y'all go win. I mean, you got to build chemistry. I mean, I, I've seen it done. I've seen I've seen teams built and, and hit the ground running before. Matter 21 or matter 20? No, I'm coming out. I'm coming out like across across the sports nation. Like I, I, you talk about the Golden State Warriors oh, okay. or something. Okay. You throw a Kevin wow. Durant on that they, motherfucker. The wow, motherfucker. They, they was already it's built. I, exactly. Yeah, when, so let me ask you this: When Kevin Durant hit that squad, did they get better or worse? They got better, but at the same time, it don't matter. They was already man. They they turned it when the Kevin Durant, Durant hit that team. Added on to what they already did. Right. Okay, so so maybe that was a bad analogy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Well, let, me, let, me, <laughs> let, let, let me let me let me let me read something to y'all niggas though. This is what I love about Phil Snow. I want you guys take on this right here. He says, "I love being on the field. I get a better feel for the game, and I get a great view of the players' eye to eyes when they come off the field. I can talk to them." When you study and get into the game, you think you know what's going to happen, but when you have to get ready for things that you didn't quite expect. Uh, think what happened. You may think, hey, can uh, excuse me, hey, they can't run the ball against us, and all of a sudden they run the football. And if you watch me, I will be 35 yards away. I won't be even with the ball. I'll be away, and I can see. So I I get a lot of the same things in the in the box as far as visual. But I'm usually on the field with oh, the guys. And oh I can, my god! Can I'm I so can I go first? I'm so I'm so I'm so I fucking love them. For the fact that we had a defensive coordinator sideline with this organization for a long oh, ass time. I'm so I'm so fucking love it. I'm so I'm so Did you hear what the uh, fuck he so, said? So go ahead, go ahead. Did you go hear ahead. what he said? I like the oh, Yeah. Hell. He said, I like to get a better feel from the game on the field because I get a great view of players eye to eye. Eye to eye. I get, you know, yeah, it's I, something about when you talk to a man, you look him directly in his eye. Yeah, you can see his soul. You can see you that. Can see, you can see if that motherfucker won't in, or you can see if he won't out, big cat. Preach, Reverend. Preach, Reverend. Preach, Reverend. Preach that shit, Uncle Reverend. You already know. Preach that shit. You can see through a nigga's soul, my nigga. Yeah, you can see his soul. You can see a man's soul. Big Cat, what, what, what's, I, I was watching UFC last night, main event. Yeah. And the motherfucker, the, the dude, he won the fight, but he he took his ass, he got his ass beat up. Big ass, cut cloth, 
Listen, but they 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 spoke to him. They they wanted the motherfucker to talk, and I was telling my wife, I said, "This nigga about to die yeah. standing here yeah. talking, because you can you can see what 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 left out of him. You know what I mean? What yeah. what what it took? What what came out of that man? Yeah. In order to in order to achieve his goal. So when you side when you face to face with a man, it, it, if a man is taking a fucking beating, big cat. You know what I mean? If, he, if, he, if he's beaten down, worn the fuck down, you ain't even got to hear what he say out of his mouth. You can see it in his eyes. You know what I mean? I like the way you motherfucking think. See, I, this, this guy right here is going to be good, man. This coach is going to be good, man. Because when you up in that skybox, you got to call on the phone. Yeah. yeah. Man, bring your lazy ass down here and, and grab him by the face, ass motherfucker. Talk, talk that shit. Exactly. <laughs> Lazy shit, huh? Off oh, about fifty yards away in the air conditioning. Hey, hey, big cat. Also, if he's on the field, he can pull a motherfucking defensive tackle to the side real quick. Yep. Hit him low. Yep. Hit him low. Talk, get, talk that shit in his ear. There you go. I like that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. But he said he's on the field. Hey, hey, get Brady's knee. You, look at his knee. Get yeah. his knee. You can talk. You can talk that slick shit real quick. Yeah, yeah. Somebody hit, uh, hit Rob. Goddamn, what's called it? Talking tidy in the air. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! As skinny as he is, unless man, he ain't gonna. He's not gonna last all. Season. Rob Gronkowski's a wide receiver now. Yeah, basically, or just end zone, just a, uh, you know, a, a end zone. That that's that's all all he's oh, he gonna get hurt. Really. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, just red zone. Now, now, that's now, now here's the money shot, y'all. Here's the money shot. Back to <laughs> Here's where you about the climax right here, y'all. He says. <laughs> When they come off the field, I can talk to them face to face. He said, when you study the game, you think you know what's going to happen. Now, remember I was telling you niggas about being countered and how you prepare for it. Listen, right. when you think you know what's going to happen, but then you have to get ready for things you didn't quite happen. You say, hey, they can't run against us. Then all of a sudden, they run the ball against us. If you watch me, I'm, Seven yards and I'm at the 35-yard line. Man, I'm sold. I'm done. Give this nigga the head coaching job. Big Cat. Give him the head coaching job. Day. He, to me, he, he has more of a head coaching aura than, than, than Matt Rule does. You see what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't going to compare him to every coach in the league. I'm just talking about what we have in-house. If, if I want to hear a coach talk about my team, I'd rather it be Phil Snow than Matt Rule because Matt Rule, I feel, or fuck Phil, I know. He's going to lie to me. spoke so how he felt you would only see it like on the path of huddle or something they they made sure to take the voice from steve wilkes you know what i mean he had no voice but see phil snow got a voice mm -hmm. yeah. He's even the secondary coach because phil snow talked big on him the, no the no 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 nobody hates matt rule y'all who's the cd see no nobody hates matt rule man i just you know, there's a lot. I mean, listen, man. This, if you go back and look at since he been with, yeah, we don't hate him, man. It's, it's a lot of skeptical, skeptical. Yeah, I'm skeptical just taking his track record for what he done yeah, showed us thus far. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, it, it ain't no hate, bro. It ain't no fucking hate. We just calling the shit the truth, bro. Yeah. A lot of shit he say is really suspect, man. Yeah, he, I mean, you can't believe what he says if he if he sits at a press conference and tell you something. He's going to rebuttal that shit. He's going to retract what he said. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck what it is. He, he probably tell his wife he love her yeah. and, and she look at him sideways. I'll put it like this. I'll put it like this, y'all. Like, y'all feel like that nigga really have control of, of the organization or is it all temper? He feel like he has the last word. Well, you know. Because you remember Temper like, last he word. just let them get somebody in control, whoever, you know what I'm saying, they're going to have to fight. I believe he got some control because you don't get that motherfucker that type of contract and say all that shit if he ain't trying to give him no control. Right. Right. 
And nobody... Oh, he, he got some type of control. And nobody's hating so, on Tepper. I'll put it like this, man. Have you ever had somebody that called himself your homeboy, but then every time they get around you, they slick dissing? But yet they say yeah. that I got your back. You gotta watch yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, you can't trust that you can't type trust. of motherfucker. Exactly. That's what Matt Rule is. I mean, he comes out say one thing one day, and the next day I didn't say that. Oh, say what? He's our. Yeah, we're gonna move forward with Cam. And then, oh uh, yeah, uh, it was time to move. You know what I mean? It's that. It's that homeboy slick. This shit. I don't. I don't get with man. I don't know how you niggas move, but I, I can't associate myself with motherfucking this slick. Yeah, this I, I never fuck around with that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. They go back to the point that the uh, conversation we had the other night mm-hmm. when Twan Don said he'd get his organization back. Heavy respect. Facts. That they was the side Cam Newton. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't. I was. I would look at that shit sideways. Mm-hmm. Even if hold they on. came back. Hold and, on, hold and, on, hold on, hold on. What'd you say now? You talking about they gonna resign Cam? No, no, we had a conversation. It was a hypothetical thing. At, at this organi- knowing that this organization backs against the wall, if they went back out and, you know, issued a public apology to Cam Newton and then re-signed him, would, would we respect the organization? I asked the question, how would you feel if this shit kind of happened? I would think I it was some dirty man. shit. I, 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 if Cam go back to the Panthers, dog, I look at the yeah, I you would lose respect for Cam Newton. Yeah, I would too. I lose respect for Cam, man. I really don't. Yo, Unc, yeah, Unc, you ever heard of the movie called Last Dragon? Man, hey, nigga, I got it. I got it right now on my on my one of my favorites, nigga. I grew up on it. Know it line for line, big cat. How about maybe tell him kiss the converse? If Cam Newton come back, he'll be kissing David Tepper's converse. Show enough yeah. shit, you know. Show enough shit. Yeah, show sure enough. Show sure, yeah. So, hey, listen. Yeah, you right. Suck the shit, bro. How you gonna? How you wanna be a? How do you wanna be associated with somebody who threw you out in the streets, and now they say, oh, we made a mistake. It, it's kind of like this, bro. If you ever been cheated on and you leave that girl, you know that girl ain't no good, and now she talking about you can come back home. She don't been ran through like goddamn Amtrak and Amaco put together. Hey, big cat, listen. I done seen this situation a number of times, and there is one factor that changes all of that shit. The kid depends on how good that goddamn drop is. Now, if she got them got that wet there, that goddamn squish, big cat. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck who you is. If the motherfucker say come through, you coming through. Yeah. So you mean that pudding? That pudding that make you pop? Yeah, hey, if, if this thing got them good squish now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. That, that squish changed the tide. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you, you, hey, look. Hey, look, listen. <laughs> well, well, I don't know, man. Listen, bro. Let's, um, say, they, they, let's say he kept off of Cam something astronomical. Does, well, let, me ask you, let, me, let me ask you this. Does it fart? Nah, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so he if you offer him astronomical, what now? <laughs> yeah, hey, at this spot, nigga, you there. You know what I mean? Listen, big cat. If, if, if Kep was to offer Cam something astronomical, and I'm asking everybody on the phone, tree fit to everybody. Yeah. If, if he offers this nigga something like four years, a buck fifty, you know what I mean? 80, 90 guaranteed, would Cam be an ass not to take it? Yeah, bro. Yeah, because he's going to have a next to a pen, a hot dog bun, some some mayonnaise. Hey, what, come what with some fucking drinks. Don't get the other side of that, though. Don't forget the other side of that. You got to look at, like, can this nigga be bought? You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. It's all about your motherfucking integrity, cuz. Fuck that money, nigga. Hey, look. Okay. Bet, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, but see, Cam Newton's integrity is questionable to me right now. Because every time he just put out another workout video, but he keeps saying this subliminal shit like, like, keep sleeping on me. All I know is work. You know what I mean? Who the fuck you talking to? We know who he talking to. It's, it's either it's either Tep or the NFL as a whole. I think the NFL. You know why he doing that? You know why he doing that? Because he know that we going to tap in. He know that the folks is on that nigga. We're going to have conversations about why they Man, I don't think the focus... I mean, I think the media portray the focus being on Cam, but when it comes to Kaepernick, they highlight Kaepernick over Cam Newton as far as, you know, getting workouts with teams and shit. Yeah. You hear that? Who the fuck Cap? Who going to sign Kaepernick? Oh, 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 oh,
Kaepernick did something political, son. He's not real. But it's Cam Newton. As far as I'm concerned right now, it's Cam Newton a publicity stunt for whoever signed it. It is no, I couldn't say that. Mm. It just it depends on what team sign. It depends on what team sign. Like, you know what I feel like, man? I feel like the Falcons are gonna sign. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. No, you said publicity so, stunt. What do you mean? Uh, All right. Well, when I say publicity stunt, now, now because they put out a little segment about Cam saying that he he's a social media star now versus him being an NFL star. Now the only eyes on Cam Newton right now is when he when when he put out a fucking workout video yeah, in black and white, slow motion and shit. What the fuck is all this, man? Some some uh some fucking you know bold in the beautiful soap opera shit. I can't get with. You know what I mean? So if they sign Cam Newton with him being who he is, the, the polarizing figure that he that he once was, because he ain't the same right now. Yeah, yeah. So you sign Cam Newton and he come in, say he come in with all this shit he left us with, the, you know, the scarves and the, the fucking answer mama dresses and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> will, 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 this, will this become a publicity stunt? Especially if he ain't signed to be a starter. Nah, man, mm-hmm. I, I think they need to be the yeah, same. I don't think it's a publicity stunt, man. Yeah. I don't know, man. That shit crazy because it... it, it when when it's associated, I, I just don't like how his name is associated. You know what I mean? He should be he should be talked about right now. Uh, if a team is going to sign Cam Newton, we shouldn't even hear it in the media. We shouldn't even hear oh the fucking Houston Texans is looking at signing Cam. We shouldn't hear what team is really wanting him. You know what I mean? See when they when they associate this nigga right now, I think it's like ten different teams now. Yeah. Two different teams that had supposed to be giving Cam Newton a call or some 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 bullshit. Well, they said the Browns just because he was working out with damn what's called the damn wide receiver. Hey, th- this is my point exactly. My point exactly. Seven oh four. You and me. I feel you. Well, you gotta it's ask yourself, crazy, man. man. Cam, but, but, but when Cam was on the Panthers. He was working out with Antonio Brown, and he said, "That's what I'm saying." He didn't he been working out with the players. He been working out with players. Yeah, exactly. He's been working out with players. Yeah. They ain't like shit about it. Right. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's almost like they putting the Tim Tebow on his ass. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> well, remember when Cam worked out with uh, with Terry Godwin and Elijah Holyfield? Yeah, hey, I, 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 I and seen all of that. on the team, huh? Sure. He worked out with, with Godwin and Holyfield. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last year when he came in. Yep. Okay. And not one of them is on the team. That was so fucking stupid enough for us to get rid of Terry fucking Godwin. Nigga, he was so perfect turn. Nah, yeah, I seen, yeah, I seen something. Yeah, I seen something. Godwin, I don't know. That was yeah. dumbass. Like that was perfect turn, nigga. I watched him play. I seen something about him. I seen something about him. Good, man. Yeah. And he could play third, uh, probably third down. 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 Third them, I, I can't put none of those 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 decisions on this new regime. That's why I say this new regime to me gets a clean slate. And so far, they they doing what they're supposed to do. They building the roster, big cap. Let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask you a question. Since this what we talked about, what do you think about Cam Newton going to the Blackbird? I, I think I think he he's he he may be a casualty of of the Riviera regime, but he he he's still under the radar. I don't know. Tep Tep just ain't let everybody go. I think he got this year to prove himself. If he if he don't prove himself, he will be out the door. Tep will find somebody to replace his ass. Well, three fifty seven. His analytics though, like what about? Sorry, not to cut you off, Jeff, but the, okay, the whole okay. game or or the whole uh, the punt return for a. Uh, uh, a field goal, a free field goal kick. Mm-hmm. That was some damn for a kick. What the fuck are you doing? What do you mean? That could have been three more points. I mean, like, what was he doing? Three more points. Yeah. Yeah, we could face it. We had, we had, we have one of the worst special teams in the NFL. Well, I mean, it's, it's been like that for a long time, though. 
It was Collins, though. It was Colin Jones, though, playing. Like, he's the leader. That, like, come on. Well, well nah, I'm, I'm talking, when you look at special teams, it's, you, uh, you got to look at special teams is a, is a whole fucking thing in itself. Mm-hmm. So, exactly. I mean, I look at special teams to me, uh, as far as special teams, I'm looking at the kick and punt return. I mean, as far as stopping kick returns and punt returns, we all right there, but we never had the solidified kick returner or punt returner since Steve Smith was. Oh, well, we got, we got Cooper now. I, I, look at, I look at fucking Marty, Marty, Marty Herney bitch ass. He signed fucking Kenny and Warner and he fucking cut him. And then the fucking Falcons get him, and then he's going to run it back on our ass. At home. Yeah. So that's the cover. Yeah. Coverage. Y'all yelling, Colin, Colin Jones was been past you. He was old and wrinkled. And <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was been past you. Yeah. No, well, I'm just saying, man, we, we, we definitely need a solidified punt and kick returner on this team. We, we have it. Like what about Cooper? Like Co- <clears throat> what about Cooper and, and Kirkwood? Oh, oh, we, oh, matter of fact, we do got one now. Yeah. It's Farrell yeah. Cooper. No, 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 yeah, Farrell no, no. Cooper. Come on. What, what, what about Kirkwood? I'm going to tell y'all who the, under, yes, who, who the diamond in the rough is. It's Marcus Murray, man. It's Marcus Murray, I keep telling y'all this, man. But y'all gonna find out. Watch. Y'all gonna find out. Elaborate on Marcus Murray. Who is this? Yeah, I don't know who that Marcus, is, there, Bofo. Marcus Wait, Murray Bofo. was with the Saints. He was with the uh, damn. I think he went to uh, um, damn Missouri, bro. I think it was Missouri. He was with the Saints, but the Saints had Alvin Kamara and Ingram at the time, so he wasn't getting that much play time and stuff. And then he left Saints and went to Buffalo, mm-hmm. and Buffalo had him last season. And of course, y'all know who fucking Buffalo got. So then we got him from Buffalo. I'm telling he gonna be a gym because he he kind of like a CMC kind of running back. He do every fucking thing. He got hands. He can run it. But he plays on special teams too. Well, I'm telling you, if they, if they put they put him back on special teams, he gonna make some plays, y'all. He gonna make some plays. What? Hey, big cat. Yeah. What, what you say? What you say about Teddy Bridgewater if he if he constantly has a short field? Oh man, I think he's uh, ain't it true. Teddy Bridgewater in short field situations. What do you think about him there? Oh, we ain't gonna ask because Teddy Bridgewater is a uh, is a fishing game man. <laughs> yeah, you get that nigga 40, 50 yards to go. He's gonna score. He's gonna get you in there. Hey, okay, uh, that's what. See, this is now, now, now. Let me ask you this: with the defense that we have, and I'm talking about the front line only. Okay. Then can you see them producing short fields for us? And I'm talking about. Force turnovers. Well, uh, yeah, I can see the front line. Yeah, I can see the front line forcing turnovers. Hey, that's a question to all y'all. Can y'all see this front four yeah. being that disruptive to to cause force turnovers? Because that's that's one thing we missed last year too. The force turnovers. What did Phil Snow say in the interview? Him and Matt Rule sat down and said what it takes to win games, and they were talking about getting turnovers and, and, and you know getting playmaking, having special plays, and not getting special plays put on you. That's yeah, exactly turn, turnovers will win a game for any team. I don't give a fuck who you are. If, if you can turn that ball over and score off of it, you will win that ball game. Exactly. See, that's, that's a lot of people overlook that shit about our 15 season. Man, we, we, we was at the top of the league in fucking false turnovers and, and scoring defense, big guy. We was. Mm-hmm. We we was. was. I mean, the offense ain't win them damn games like, look, Thanksgiving game. Luke Keekley, we had a couple pick sixes in that game, I believe. Yeah, Roman yeah. Harper got one. And, um, and Luke Keekley. Well, that, that's cute, but, um, you know, <laughs> let me ask you about this right here. Uh, you said um, the second the fr- the front line is going to do turnovers. No, I'm not asking you, do you, can you see them? I ain't, I don't know what they're capable of. I'm asking you as they construct it, do you see them being able to force turnovers? Yeah, I see them able to force turnovers. <laughs> but would it be enough? I mean, like, you know, I mean, are they going to force turnovers every goddamn series? I mean, I don't know, but if we could get hold one on, or two on, every on. game. 
No, no, I said every series. If we're getting pressure, we're going we to force a, a turnover for show. As long as we get some pressure going, we make it off, off the rocker and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Man, if we if we averaging two turnovers a game, four turnovers a game, big cat, that's a man. Listen, that's that's ten and six. Oh, you said ten and six? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna stand on this shit. I'm gonna stand on it. I'm gonna ask y'all this question: What y'all think is gonna be like the last seed of that playoff? What y'all think that record is gonna take to get that last seed of the playoff? Nine and seven. At least by nine and seven. Eight, 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 nine and eight, seven. Eight, 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 Last seed still with six, um, six teams, right? Eight, eight. Nineteen twenty one, right? Nah, it's gonna be seven teams this year. Yeah, seven. Yeah, because one, it's only gonna be one by. We gonna need ten and six. Yeah, nine or ten wins. Ten wins. God, nah, hell nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight, eight will probably make it. The NFC is tough. The NFC is the AFC now. The NFC is not AFC. The NFC is tough. Hold on, let me, let me see. Let me see who we got coming out. Let me see. NFC probably need to get eleven shit to do. Hey, oh, thank, thank you, thank you, uh, three fifty. You gonna need some wins now. At least let me look at do my you research. Know what I'm AFC, make it six. I mean, you gotta you gotta look at it by the divisions. Now, you you, you take the NFC East. That's too, that's too, that's too. I, I I can see I can see the Cowboys making it. I don't know about Philly. They already lost an offensive lineman. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, so, yep. Yeah, so so I I can't say Philly's a for sure playoff contender. So that's one out of the East. We go to the NFC West, San Francisco, and then and of course the Seattle. That's three right there. They might be on the up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to do my research real quick. Y'all, you go ahead. I got it. Now, right. Don't sleep on the partner now because they got it. They well, got well, it. well, I I mean, I'm going to put them in the same class as the Panthers right now. You know what I mean? But that, but that fucking running back, King and Drake, that boy be running hard. I don't care what. Man, come on, man. I mean, I mean, King and Drake don't have a good season, a good stretch during the season. But all season long, we'll see. King and Drake ain't never posted no Pro Bowl season by itself. So we'll see what. Fans vote, huh? That's fans voting. Well, I'm talking about his numbers. I'm talking about production only. He, okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, he ain't, you know, he ain't never been, he ain't he never been a number one back. He always shared the backfield. If they had David Johnson there, still maybe, but he did a sidekick. Hey, David Johnson, a healthy David Johnson was, was top three in the league. Yep. That nigga was hell. That nigga was one of the best running backs I've ever seen. You know, who else we say? Oh, you said the NFC East, the NFC Yeah, so we got, we, we can take one out of the East, two out of the West, and then we get to the NFC South. Goddamn. Yes. <laughs> well, I already got that answer for you, but I, 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 I'm going to wait till I finish. Yeah, goddamn. Now, now we, 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 we got to say New Orleans will be there. Yeah. And hey, we got to say Tampa's going to claim one. So we got two spots left. Seven, yo, it's gonna take nine wins to get that last spot. I say at least nine to ten wins. Cause last time we... go off the NFC, this shit was stacked. That shit was stacked like hell, and it was close. We yeah. fuck around to make the playoffs this year, and next year by some chance, fucking Joe Brady is gone. Bam! Don't say that, Jay. Hey, don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> that nigga said Joe Brady's gone. <laughs> he won't even say nothing when he leaves either. God damn. Tepper would do anything to, to keep yeah, us going. Tepper and Tepper would throw that pass. Exactly. Tepper would throw that pass. That's the only he can say is the money. But if hey, he probably say, what you want, head coach? Let rule. Bye. You might want head coach. 
Shit. Hey, he look like I, you can look in his eyes and see that's his aspirations, head coach. He you know, he ain't talking like he just won't be an offensive coordinator long. He you can look in his eyes and see he got head coach aspirations. So what he you talk, talk he talk a little like uh. I think so. I think so. Who knows? I don't, I don't like putting people in today. Some people got their own lanes. For hey, and Sean McVay wasn't as smart as we thought he was. You see what I'm saying? See, Sean McVay, his little ass ran out. Yeah, I mean, he had a good hot year. But but now, you look, you fast forward to the day, they got Sean, they got that motherfucker pegged now. He gonna have to, he gonna have to switch up. Because of the game film. That game film. Game film. It, that's it, it, it ain't take the lead but one season to get his ass where they needed to get him. You know what I mean? That's a, that's facts. That's why Patrick Mahomes, all these top quarterbacks, y'all got to stay on that shit. Because yep. everybody don't want to film y'all on y'all ass this whole offseason. All season. We seen y'all. See, that's my thing, man. A lot of these, a lot of teams are going to hit the ground with no fucking continuity this year. See, a lot of teams don't stay the same throughout the league. Now, I just can't, I mean, my Panthers being like the youngest team in the league, yeah, I mean, that's the only strike I'm going to put against us. We the youngest squad in the league. True. That's fine. That's fine. No, I, I can't really say that's a huge problem, though. It, it could. We could use that to our advantage. Like, we've been talking about, like, a month ago. Like, what about fucking late in the season? When Tom Brady's over here huffing and puffing, you know what Well, I mean? they, they can't been saying it all day, nigga. Ain't no, ain't no substitution for experience. <laughs> and on the same thing with that, later in the season is not that great for rookies. They're not used to right. being that long for football. They're That's right. a fact right. there. That's a fact long. there. That's a fucking fact there. So if we do happen to make playoffs, we got to look at these rookies for real, then you know what I mean. A motherfucker might might not. They, they, yeah, you right, too. Yeah, the, the, the conversation changed a little bit. More like, damn, I'm tired. I don't want to practice this week. Damn, it's December. Shit, you still playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you you got to motivate a little nigga then. Yeah, you got to motivate like my son. Hell, you, he he'll go to work, but you got to let him know what he getting paid first. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Exactly. I mean, what's yeah. it? At the end of the day. Sometimes more bitch, you gotta come with them, man. You know what I'm saying? You kind of feel, you kind of really want to do it yourself. You gotta exactly, because really it's the big boy league now. It's the big boy league. This is what you get paid for. You a grown ass man now. Well, this is this is where a true leader of men come in. See, when you get when you get when you get people who don't or don't feel like doing it that day, and they need that extra push, that's where the true leader of men come in. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you, you'll get one motherfucker come in. You get one motherfucker waking everybody up. God, come on now, y'all. It, it's six thirty. God damn it, fuck you, still laying down for? Get your ass up. We, you, you gonna? This is the true leader of a man. Of a man, when you get a person like that. So yeah. that's that's what we don't know what we have yet. Is it Shaq Thompson? I mean, shit, man. I, they said that they like Shaq though. When Shaq got fucking sipped on by fucking. I was like, oh my god. Now we ain't got key clean. I'm like, oh shit. So he sounds like we got white hands. White hands can stop the run. But that motherfucker is atrocious against the pass. I mean, I seen him <laughs> kicking his best get juke and different stuff too. I mean, you gonna have different plays. Yeah, I mean let's not let's not act like Luke ain't get beat. Yeah, but I also well, yeah. seen Luke Luke break balls up. I've also yeah. seen Luke pick shit off. So I think I'm being in good position and Get beat. As long as you in the position, that's all I can ask for. Yeah, like, yeah. Take Julio's arms down the field. If you look at it, the nigga was in great position. Just Julio just taller. Yeah, Julio went over the top, dunked on his ass. Man, don't know the linebacker should be running with no goddamn wide receiver downfield. They shouldn't, and that's another. Yeah, that's a fact, man. That's a fucking fact. Just coaching and out of position, all like hell, and not putting yeah. your back. Yeah, no, no linebacker. Put he was the best linebacker. Shouldn't be guarding no wide receiver, but shouldn't be guarding yeah. number one. At all. Was that the year? Hey, was that the year we had Nakamura and Stacy? Mm, uh, 
Exactly. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, right. I know Captain Merlin was on that squad. I hated that motherfucker. Right. That was uh, that was Bobby Billy Ricky. All five seven of them. <laughs> God, I hated that nigga. Get the fuck out of here. But don't, but don't Captain Merlin got like a, a record go for like return touchdown? It's some shit. He got a record for though. He ain't the record. Something though. I, I have to check that. I I don't know what the fuck Cap did. All right, all right. Good shit. Captain Merlin did his shit. Yo, Ark, I got you. He had two pick sixes and like six touchdowns. You, and six interceptions. You ready for this, Ark? What's up? 14, 14, 14, I, I, I got you tightened up, man. Here, here you go. I know you asked me, what is it going to take to make the wild card, right? Yeah. All right. Now, I got the Cowboys winning the NFC East. They had the 32nd ranked schedule. They had the easiest schedule in the league, uh, so I got them going there. Uh, NFC South, New Orleans had the 24th ranked schedule. Got them with the NFC South. I know y'all don't like that, but that's what it is, what it is. Um, I got the Niners actually getting the bye week. They're the only team that's going to get the bye week, so by default, Seattle will have a home game in the NFC uh, West. NFC North, the Packers had the 15th ranked schedule. They're going to win the NFC North. Um, so the two wild card teams will be the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers had the 16th ranked schedule, so, Damn. so there'll be a Buccaneers uh, by, a wild card. And then you got between either the Bears or uh, the Vikings or some shit. The Bears, Vikings, or Eagles. I so. And you're gonna need at least nine to ten for that, because I, I think the Bears and the Vikings are going, to, or, or the Eagles, gonna at least get nine wins. So nine or ten, right? So you, you you see the Chicago Bears winning nine, ten games, big cat. Well, Vikings, yeah. Bears, or Eagles? Oh, with Nick I'm Foles, just, yeah. I'm Forgot about Nick Foles. Nick Foles. So we just canceled. We just canceled out the Eagles because I, I don't think I, they already losing star players, big cat. So to, get... to ACL, ACL tears <laughs> and shit like that. So okay, let, we, we we you know well as far as the numbers go, we gonna look at it through the analytic, big cat. Then you you're hundred percent right now. No season. I mean, they they they're projected like that, but we gotta. I don't know, big cat. We, there's there's things oh, called injuries. And, oh, hold on, hold on. You gotta read the play line. Don't we play the NFC North? We got whole division. We play the whole division, right? Yeah. Oh, so we got a chance to X one of them bitches out anyway. Right, right. So, so, so we can take out either the Bears or the or the, or the Vikings. We gotta take care of We got the Cardinals this year too, right? Yeah, yeah. anybody worry about them? Oh. Ah. So, so, it, it, right? so basically, our schedule it, it, it's all predicated on who we win and how many wins we get. Basically, who we beat and how many wins we get. Basically, we actually could sneak in there if we if we wipe out the NFC North and, and wipe out the NFC yeah the, the NFC North. If we take care of them, I think we actually could sneak in. Yeah, what, it, what, it could come down to just, just numbers. If we take out the Vikings, we take out the Bears, we take out the Packers, and we take out uh, Detroit. If we sweep that division, we could fuck around and probably be in as a wild card. Nine wins. So, so to me, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, all about who we beat. Yeah. It sounds like that, that, that Green Bay game, that late Green Bay game, follow me snowing and shit, but that's going to be a crucial yeah, game for the end of the season. That's, that's going to be a big game. game. Yep. That's going to be a big ass game. So if we would have won that game, we would have been there. Mm. That's what it sounds like. Yes. Yeah. So I'll, the, the, to be honest, with one, that's cool. every time we play Green Bay, yeah. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you, Unc, you, you you may not be far off, man, but I, I I still think it's a long shot. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I, I, I'm not saying it can't yeah. happen, but I think it's a long shot. Put it this way. Yeah, see, yeah, because you helped me break to see the schedule, the the the, the rank in the schedule. Yeah. Where, because if we got to play these teams anyway, because they 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 read the schedule good, big cat. Mm-hmm. We got to play these divisions anyway. That and those teams that you say may win wild cards. If the Panthers happen to beat two of these teams, yeah. you know what I mean. We ain't got to sweep them. We ain't got to sweep them. We just got to we gotta win certain games. Yeah. Certain games this year. See, I, I like that, Big Cassie. So we got to look at the schedule a little harder now. Because mm-hmm. uh-huh. certain games going to have bigger implications on them than we thought. Yep, yep. 
Yeah, the NFC North games is some real fucking shit right Yeah, see, yeah, we gotta worry about that. Dude. See, I ain't look at it like that, Big Cat. Not not one time did I look at did I look at the other division. See, the NFC South, of course, that's a tough division, but the NFC North division, we gotta take we gotta take more we gotta take more goddamn we gotta look at that division there. That's why I got a be- beautiful mind, my G. Yeah, you do. You know that. Is that and we got Detroit on the schedule, which I already said we're going to beat they fucking ass. Yeah. You know what I mean? We got, we, got, we got the Vikings on the schedule. I already told you, Teddy going to whoop they motherfucking ass. Mm-hmm. If, if, if we beat both of them teams and, they, and we, if we both end up, say the Vikings and the Panthers finish 9-7 and seven and we done beat their ass already. Yep. We got them. We, they, they, they won't get we See, see the numbers is going to play a part this year. That's right. It ain't even gonna matter about the NFC South too much. Yeah, we could get swept there and still make the playoffs. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. Shit. Hey, Come big on now. it's a possibility. <laughs> now, if, if you already say New Orleans and Tampa's, you know, for sure fire yeah. playoff teams now. Right, right. We we can lose we can lose both of them. We can during the season New Orleans can sweep us at Tampa. No, we but still got to split, bro. around and knock certain teams off. And finish with a certain record, we still mathematically will have to be in the playoffs. You know what I mean? With a seven, man, listen. Listen, if we get, yeah, if we, you split, just exciting me, buddy. No you doubt, just me excited. No doubt, but we gotta, we gotta split with at least one team. Like, like if we, if we split with Atlanta and we get, hold on, we got, we got to split with two teams. I'm sorry. If we can split with Atlanta, we can split with Tampa Bay, and then we get swept by the Saints. We'll be all right. You see what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, we, we yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's all about who we and and basically it ain't about who we lose to this year. That's right. It's about who the fuck we beat. Right, right, exactly. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of a season, oh, man. Split Y'all with, boys better get ready for this ball. Let's split with Atlanta and split with the Saints and get split by Tampa. We have a shot. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Easy, easy, because. The way our schedule is, man, we, we talked about the strength of the schedule, man. We, we, with the division that they got us locked up with, and we play all of the NFC North. See what I'm saying? Yeah. If we beat that NFC North division up, we're still going to make the fucking playoffs, fella. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. you gotta, I'm, looking, I'm looking at the numbers right now. When it comes down to the end of the season, and they're giving us an extra wild card spot now. Nine and seven will make the playoffs, depending on who we beat. You know what I mean? See, if, if I if I if I had that soundboard right now, I'll just say we just figured out Blue Clue. <laughs> <laughs> we just figured out Blue Clue, my nigga. We Yo, can. That shit, hey, this is gonna be an interesting season. Yeah. What's the estimate of it, Say that again. What's the soundboard? How much you estimate of it? How much is it making that trying to get? I couldn't tell you right now. I, I just had to Google it. You got an email? Yeah, I got an email. All uh, right, let me write it down. All right. It's uh, D-I-D. Okay. M-A-K-E-C-O at gmail.com. Bet, bet. I got you, nigga. We'll talk turkey. All right. But, but, but pretty much what me and Ankh are saying is we can afford to get swept by one team in our division and split with everybody else, and we'll be in, good, we'll be in a good position. In fact, so everybody okay. in the division play the same people we play. Yeah. So you gotta look at that too. Yep. Got a question. What team would you prefer to be swept by? None of them. Not exactly nobody. None of them, but but if it had to happen, man, um, I mean, what the fuck is that? Somebody, somebody, somebody is a father. You know that. Oh, that's that's my little girl. Oh, that's the baby. Oh, you good? You good? You good? I thought that was a cat, man. <laughs> nah, it's my daughter going wild. Oh, it's cool, it's cool. But yeah, I mean, I, I can't. I, I'm not taking no sweep by no Atlanta. Fuck that. I'm not getting swept by Atlanta. Yeah, we ain't getting swept by Atlanta. I tell you right now, big cat. Yeah. Man, you know me being from Atlanta, man. Yeah. Going to this fucking. Te- we lose to the fucking Falcons. Well, how the fuck we lose to the Falcons? Man? I hate them, bro. I hate the Falcons, bro. I hate. The, I hate them motherfuckers bad, like bad, bad. <laughs> yeah, but they got a number. They got our fucking number, man. I think they had Riviera's number, Big Cat. They had Ron's number. Good point. He can't beat the Falcons, dude. Yeah. 
I feel yeah, like you can have that number since Chris Chris uh, Chris Chandler and goddamn Jamal Adams and uh, Anderson Davis. They be had our number. For oh years, my man. God, Chris even before Vic, man. even before Vic they had our number. But Ark is on some. Ark said they may have had uh, Ron Rivera's number. They had his number. They ain't got they ain't got in that room with Joe Brady and Phil Snows yet. They can't even call them niggas yet. Yeah, they, they had yeah, That's why I'm like, he can't beat the fucking Saints or the Falcons. That's why he wasn't no good coach to be. Or the Redskins, so he joined them niggas. Man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and for, how the fuck you lose to the Redskins, man? Oh, my God. Oh, that was, that was set up, baby. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That shit was yeah. set up there. <laughs> Hey, hey, that was his last. That was his last fit. That was his last yeah, uh, yeah. coaching job. Man, he ain't coached no more for us after they gave him Monday. Yep. No doubt. Nope. That was him. Man, got fired in church. They cracked his ass. And yep, that's a fact. That's a fact. And that nigga three fifty stupid, man. I, I, I like three fifty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, they fired him in, in the collection plate, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> They put a note in the collection plate and said, it's for you, nigga. Nah, they start to play right at him. So, man, if you take this, you don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I heard about this. Yeah, you remember I had did that video where he was talking about he didn't know how to get to work and shit? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what I, I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, yeah, it's motherfucking Ron. Yeah, that's some stupid shit, man. What did he say? You don't remember he said he's confused. He don't know whether he's coming or going. He, he's not sleeping no more. He can't, he's not easy. Ron Rivera said he felt oh, like yeah, a black man like in America. He didn't have no peace of mind. <laughs> Ron Rivera felt like a black man. Let me ask you a question. How the fuck this nigga is supposed to be uh, a premier member of the mantra of the 85 Bears? And your bitch ass take on that soft ass personality on the defense. I have no clue, man. Man, if I would, I would have bought in members of that old team. I would have bought Walt. I mean, not Walt. I would have bought people in from that old, from his old days. If I was Ron, I would. I think he tried to do that shit. I would have bought people carry up his shirt. Oh, well, he tried to do that shit. Yeah, yeah, big cat. Like I say, he felt like a black man in America. Yeah, you right. He, he can't sleep, can't sleep, don't know if he coming or going. Yeah, I ain't got a peace of mind, nigga. Shit, yeah, I know motherfuckers living like that every day. Facts. Yeah, 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 exactly. That nigga sold his house on the south side and donated everything. Yeah. Fast. I was scared. I thought that nigga was going to pop his top, though, man. I thought, that, I thought he was going to you know, find him in the car with his top pop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'm going to the way he was talking. Wasn't he? Wasn't he for real? All jokes aside. I said, oh, we're going to find now, that nigga. That, now, you remember that. Yeah. He said all of that shit like on the Wednesday before the Redskins game. Yeah. So, if, if if he was talking like that, I think he already knew he was gone. Yeah. I ain't got it. Yeah, mother, I ain't got no peace of mind. It sound like he didn't know how he was going to pay his rent. You know what I mean? <laughs> is, that why you sell, is that why you sell all this shit? That nigga ain't broke. Nah, he ain't broke. Shit. But but the way he was talking, he, he act like he was. The funny shit about that is, the day he got fired, I had put out that video. And somebody blamed me for him to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same nah, day that he got fired. Happened. Nah, that shit was happening, baby. Yeah. My thing is, that nigga made an emphasis to tell us, I'm the first uh, repeat, repeat division champion. Oh, mm-hmm. the fuck out here. That's seven, eight, one, four, yeah. You hanging your hat on that shit? Yeah, they fought that nigga. Hey, he had to hang his hat on something, goddammit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he tried. It'd be something if, if, if Matt Rule and this regime come in first year, make the playoffs, get eliminated in the wild card, turn around next year, come back and go to the NFC Championship game. Mm-hmm. See, see, you. Then, then we would know we was truly being, you know, given mediocrity for dinner every fucking night. Every Sunday we was eating mediocrity. Damn right. Yeah. That's why I can't wait for that game, too. I no wish doubt. it was much earlier, but it's all right. No doubt. Well, fellas, I'm going to get up out of here, man. I'm going to go see my pops and um, have some dinner with the fam. Y'all be blessed. Happy yes, Father's Day to all of oh, you guys, yeah, no man. Doubt. Everybody be Safe, yeah, yeah. Y'all be safe, man. Keep pounding. Check hey, out happy the website. Happy Father's Day, fellas. Hell of a show, big yeah. cat. I appreciate this hey. this morning, man. Sure, Thank you. Sure. Y'all be blessed, man. I love y'all. I'll catch y'all later, man. One love. Hey, peace. Much love. Much love.
We out, we out.